Tries to come back. Call this meeting to order. He'll be out there, everybody. We've already passed around the roll call. Unless there's any additions or corrections, a motion to approve the agenda. So moved. Second. Second. One second. All. Dick. Greg. Okay, sorry. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Approval of the minutes for Thursday, May 30th, 2019, 6 p.m. Any additions or corrections? If not, motion to approve the agenda. Or, sorry, approve the minutes. So moved. And we also have, I'm sorry, we also have a June 4th minutes there for 6 p.m. Motion to approve both of them or separate? Both of them. All right. Second. 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 May 30th, sorry. That on the thing it says, I'm looking at my own one. Okay. May 30th and June 4th. Yep. Okay. Dick, and who was the second? So who was the second? Greg was. I was. Sorry. All opposed, all in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Any comments from the floor now? Okay. My turn? Yep. Your turn. Can I sit back here or stand up? Or what, whatever, you, whatever you're whatever comfortable you with, do. sir. Whatever you're comfortable with. <clears throat> I don't know if I got enough of them or not. We can, I pass. Seven, we can I share. Seven pounds of them made, but I got some more to call. <laughs> and we passed out modern. Can I just stand up here? Absolutely. Yes, sir. Okay, I don't think I need this here. I'm Hank Poole. I'm sorry. From Perry Land Perry Museum. I live down here on on the west uh, Greenwood, beside our uh, well next door neighbor, I guess, two down to our favorite uh, Mrs. Mm. Beale. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so You're anyway, doing really good that you mentioned that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Most uh, of you all know where that is. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is our 50th anniversary for Perry <laughs> And uh, Fall Festival and Steam Show is uh, always the last full weekend of September at the corner of, of uh, West Michigan and uh, Greenwood. Bless you. Bless you. So uh, <clears throat> we're looking to have a good show. We had uh, a rough start this year with, a, with our auction was uh, was a little wet. That was. Uh, Rained all day long. About the time the auction was over, while well, the sun came out and it rained, but uh, it was too late. So anyway, I'm here to talk about that. I've uh, given you all uh, some information about the show, my budget. I make a budget for Fairyland uh, for the show. That budget is what it takes to run the show. If we are uh, an area such as uh, a <coughs> kitchen or the flea market that makes some money, that does not go in my budget. This is the budget strictly to run the show. And uh, so anyway, uh, you can see on there that budget is, as I found out pretty quick, it's off. <coughs> a good example was I used to get the petting zoo from the Green County FFA down there, and uh, they had several animals that they brought up here, so I uh, paid them <coughs> three to five hundred dollars. Well, they no longer have the students in, that has uh, in school that has these animals, so I'm working with a, a petting zoo out of uh, Pleasant Hill, and uh, they want eleven hundred dollars a day. Oh my! So things are going up, as I told. Uh, I told the board and I told the committee I would show we have glass makers, we want broom makers, we want things of the old type. You don't get them free anymore. They want money to come in here. And uh, even the seller, we let them sell their product too, and uh, they still want money to come in here. So, uh, I'd be happy to take some questions or anything I can. Uh, I put a straight line down here in my budget, ten thousand dollars for the for the show. Now, one of the main things for the show is I'm working with uh, 
Sky Club in Louisville, Kentucky, to come up here and give tether balloon rides. On Saturday, they normally, uh, he likes to give rides the first three hours of the morning and maybe the last three hours of the day when the, the wind has uh, died down a little bit. So that's one of the major, major things going on. Some of the other things going on, we have, uh, I'm working with a uh, guy in Virginia to come and do some uh, saw on a white paints the animals and so forth of, uh, of, uh, that you put out and drop on the side out here. There's uh, several out here on West Vandalia. I'm sorry, East Vandalia, clear out on the, on the, at the end out there past the lake and on out there, right at the key road, there's several there a guy's got. He gave me that address and I called him. However, I've asked for some money from South Jacksonville. It's not a uh, short amount of money to help us out. And I would be happy to answer any questions that you may have or all of you have. I've asked for some dignitaries to have on our opening ceremony there on Friday. Mr. Jennings is part of that. Mayor uh, Ezra is part of that. We're looking for C.D. Davis Meyer. We're looking for some dignitaries to help us open the 50th ceremony. With that, I think we still have two <coughs> members that started that still alive. And we invited them to come and and uh, help with the open ceremony. Hank, what was the price of those balloon rides that you were talking about for Saturday? We're, we're, gonna, we're not going to charge anything for balloon rides. Okay, so what's it costing Prairie Land? What's it costing Prairie Land? <coughs> for those Saturday, for, for the six hours, we're looking to get by with just under uh, $1,000. Okay. For us, that's what we're looking for, uh, as opposed to exactly what you're planning on doing it's how you want to spend the money that you're asking for in the grant okay. uh, for example thousand dollars bring in balloon rides uh fifteen hundred dollars for this kind of advertising thousand dollars for that kind of advertising um that way be being it's public money we can't just write a check <clears throat> for thirty thousand dollars without knowing more specifics on on what things are going to be spent on okay south jacksonville so my budget, as you see, is thirty-four thousand four hundred dollars. My show budget for this year. I don't know if we have a copy. Yeah, of we don't have anything. anything. We only have your original it's application. It's so in that. It's in your original application. Can I see that? Because I don't have one sure. like that. We do not have that one. So, do you want? Can I go make a copy? You of this can one? make all the copies you want. We have that part. We it's don't in have this one. We don't have that right there. Thank you. Thank you. I do see you have all the, he has all the hotels already listed on here. How many around this table will take advantage of going We have that side. We don't have. I, have you ever been in there? I always go. The steam shop? Yeah. yeah. You didn't have to go every year. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Come have you ever been? Yeah. 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 It's supposed to look like that. Not every year, but I've been. Okay. But I mean, it, it, it's one heck of a deal mm -hmm. out yeah. there. Yeah. And, and you can't, my opinion, you, if you see everything out there, you can't go through it today. No. If you really look at everything out there. My kids, watching the kids go through well, yeah, when, when my kids were in school, they all went as part of their school <clears throat> to this. Yeah, it's a big deal. And asking about the amounts, that's not a critique of you. That's in general for all the grants. Does that make sense? That any grant that would come in and ask for a tourism grant, we just need to know the specifics on what they plan on spending on. What do the wristbands cost you? And did you say you already have South Jacksonville? The wristbands cost $1,000. And we're already on that? Village of South Jacksonville. It's got the uh, Village of South Jacksonville wording on it. Awesome. We've got uh, banners that show that uh, that uh, the Village of South Jacksonville supports the parking and uh, taking the entrance uh, money from the Saddle Club, and that's two thousand dollars. Okay. It's a thousand dollars for entertainment. It, uh, which also comes uh, comes out of uh, out of the money and budget that I've got from you in the past, which has been uh, outstanding. Uh, 
Hank, do you know about how many people will be getting a wristband? What's, do you have any idea your numbers for a weekend? Like how many people go through Prairie Land? I'm just curious how many people will see. I'm assuming it's quite a bit. On a good weekend, we'll run 8 to 10,000 people through there. Yeah, that's what I figured. Total. 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 Yeah. yeah. Now, see, that, the, the school kids, the education kids, right. that come through there on Friday is all free. Yeah. And they don't get a wristband or anything else. And that, that involves a lot of kids. I can't hear you. The lady called me from Mount Southern last year. I think I wrote on that. I wanted to bring the first graders, 50 first graders. And they was here from Mount Sterling. Really? Really? <laughs> and uh, so they're, um, thanks, Sean, for running here, of course. I thought, I thought them was in there were one of these. Tom. Maybe I missed one. Tom. He's got one right there, Tom. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Well, I know school districts are. Oh. Uh, field trips because they have to yeah. be educational. Yeah. So clearly, this, <laughs> this is educational. <laughs> District 117. Uh -huh. District 117 okay. sends all their fifth graders. Every, every year, sends their fifth graders. Okay. And so that I'll means that all the fifth graders in 117 South School will be going. Okay, so uh, I didn't know all, I all the fifth graders okay. are okay. now. That's that all goes right. to schools from the surrounding community. <laughs> okay. Green, uh, uh, North Green, and Winchester, and Meridocia, and Cyopia, and, okay. and Virginia. All, all them schools are invited. Anybody, anybody can come. Okay. That day, bus drivers. Uh, <laughs> People, it's uh, with, uh, with the students, mm -hmm. all three. Mm -hmm. So uh, now the balloon. You're saying the balloon thing is it just like a weather permitted thing? Because I don't see it on your. It's, it's not that we're not there yet. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. No, and we're not there yet. We the, the funds is not there right now. That's why I asked you for some uh, the village for some extra funds. Uh, there's two things that uh, holding up. The funds is holding up. And the insurance. I think I've got the insurance lined out for it. Now, why would you not charge anything for, like, if it's an added expense that you don't have, why would that be something you wouldn't charge, like, a dollar person or, you know, a dollar fifty or whatever? I guess. This is our. This is what we come up with, sir. This is, this is our fiftieth anniversary. Mm -hmm. Okay. I just asked. Okay. Let me explain it to okay. you. Okay. That's why we done. This is our fiftieth anniversary, and we want the people to come in. Mm -hmm. and not be charged for the 50th anniversary. We want to we want to bring people in the gate, get our money at the gate, and and have the people, because everybody's not going to be able to go on. There's going to be a line, and there's not going to be, I'm sure, if this comes in here, everybody's not going to be able to. But I want them to go around through the rest of the area. There's people here in Jacksonville that don't even know we're out here. Mm -hmm. Fact. I can tell you that for a fact. So if I can get them in the gate, and look around and so forth, maybe they'll come back. Hopefully they'll come back. They'll come back and eat. They'll come back and look fast. They'll come back and go through the gate. And uh, they'll... Uh, well, the wristband is good for three days. Three days, <coughs> yeah. So anyway, they'll... Uh, <coughs> hopefully that'll happen. So I can, we can go ahead and charge them by dollar to dollar to run the balloon. But, you know, uh, this is our fifth test and we want to... We want to uh, work the likes of 50. Okay. We want to give the people something back. In other words, and taking all the time, we want to give back a little bit. All these advertising spots, are these people donating advertising or they're not no, charging? We're, we're paying. You're, okay, you, you don't have anything down there though. No, we're paying for them. Okay. In your, in your opinion, as far as the booths, I mean, the booths, they, you charge for the booths to come in for them people to sell stuff, correct? They have to pay to come there to have a booth to sell. Yes, yes. In your opinion, the last, let's say, five years, has that diminished, or you think there's more? There's less. That's a, The reason I ask that is because I noticed that last year, myself being there, of every year, that there was less. There's less. Okay. We're doing some things this year to help boost that up. In other words, we're giving, we're giving out the first people that have never been here before, we're giving them a booth. One booth for this year. Uh, hopefully to get them in here. If I'm thinking right, I can get them in here and then they'll come back. 
But yes, it is down. Okay. Uh, I'd be the first to admit that. And we know that. Hank, with all of these advertisers you have on here, um, <coughs> would you be willing to have the village logo on print ads and um, radio ads? Would you mention the village? Is that something your board would be interested in doing? Yeah, not this days. print, but the print we've got here, like Illinois Times, Journal Courier, the Star Gazette, oh, Cass County Source. Oh, good, that's a balloon. Is that something you think your board would be open to? I mean, if it's no, it's no. I'm just curious. We can, we can do anything we want to, or anything you want us to do, uh, as far as that goes. Now, here's, a, here's another thing. Because uh, the more our name can be out there, the more I, apt I am to give you money. <laughs> I guess maybe what... I was asking, can, can you Thanks. emphasize that you're located your in South Jacksonville on all your ads? Can you emphasize that? Can, can you repeat that? I don't print print. part of that. Can you emphasize what? That they're located in South Jacksonville. That's on the sheet there. We're located in South Jacksonville. Maybe like, okay, and he was just showing home. this basket banner. You can, they, they can do anything. Okay. And you could give us this hot points. air balloon banner, mm -hmm. too. Yeah. Uh, I see they, that. You can yeah. see the cost of it. But yeah. Here, I'll pass that around. Those are options where the village could be mm -hmm. publicized. You see the additional cost of those. What is that? Fifteen hundred, and what was the other? Is there anybody? I mean, is Jacksonville donating money to the nothing? You, you cannot get anything out of Jacksonville's convention and business group. Technically, they're in South Jacksonville, so I I don't know if they would. Yeah, but you think of them? I mean, they they got hotels that people stay in. Yeah. I mean, right they the probably border. should. You're right on the border of Jacksonville. Yeah, they probably so should. So you went to them and asked them? Pardon? You went to them, presented, and asked and Last year. I haven't been there this year yet. But no, you are going to? I'm going to. Okay. Did they give anything last year? No. Huh. Have they given in the past? That's surprising. Have they ever given in the past, eh? I can't answer that 100%. There was a year or two when you weren't. In charge, no. right? Yeah. But then they ask him to come back. I mean, it'd be a different thing if it was a South Jacksonville festival or something, yeah. and, and that's why Jacksonville didn't, you know, but that's kind of sad. But I don't know what their criteria that's, is. That's, that's, that's very sad. If we, if it is. My because this is one of the biggest draws in the area. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, in that short of time. I don't know. <clears throat> I mean, people are going to eat, you know, in Jacksonville, yeah. and people are, you know, what Buy else? gas on their way in, you know. Yeah. I'm 79 years old, and I've never seen a balloon in Jacksonville. A balloon? No, I think that would be pretty cool. Yeah. It would attract a lot of attention. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. It, he was passed out. I think it's a joint. You've never seen it. You know, you'll draw people to come in. Mm -hmm. Well, even if they didn't have an intention of going, they see the balloon. It'll go on in. Yeah. <laughs> the Their kids will force, of course. Mm -hmm. yeah, I know. <laughs> Just like yeah. the old search oh, lights. Remember the yeah. old search oh, lights? Yeah. I like the idea of people our name being on the source. Yeah. Mm -hmm. balloon. From the, I want, I want to just run a couple of things by uh, some expenses we have out there in this, in this uh, area. For last year, I haven't run them off for me. Last year, the building of grounds was over $12,000. The equipment maintenance to keep the stuff going out there was $7,000. The insurance, $16,200. Legal and accounting <coughs> was just short of $4,000. Telephone utilities, 11,300. That's just some of the highlights. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's not free to keep that place going. We had a rough auction. What do you mean by rough? Weather killed them. No, yeah. no matter. Uh, all the last year, we um, they had a real good auction. Mm -hmm. There was a thousand twenty-five bid numbers went out mm -hmm. last year. Four auctioneer rings run all day long selling that stuff. Dick was a part of it. We probably I think we netted 
with what we got in the sale and what we got in the food. $125,000. This year, the food didn't break even. And what we got in the auction was in two or three thousand. What does it cost to get in for the three days? Eight dollars. Eight dollars. So what else is a draw for the 50th? You've got the balloons. Anything else <clears throat> different, Hank, for the 50th? We're working on some different things right now we haven't had before. Glass blowers and some, some of the old time things that we're trying to get involved in. And also we're, we're trying to, as uh, the fellow here said, uh, bump the flea markets. We need to get that back in. So are all those things uh, just under this line here for the 50th year celebration? Like, are all those things like kind of bumped into that then? In the end, yes. Okay. And and plus that uh, <clears throat> ten thousand is not going to pick up. For example, for example, uh, the saddle club. They mm -hmm. may they're probably going to go up a thousand. We've had them two thousand for a long time. That's and the parking, right? That's the parking. Yeah. And they also man the gates. <clears throat> they put the wristbands on and take the money. So you, Seven o'clock to five o'clock. So it day. was two thousand last year for them, but you think it's going to be more this year? Yes. Hmm? Oh, okay. Sorry. Everything is going up. Sure. So the balloon you think is about a thousand dollars for six hours, but if we want our name and stuff on it, that looks like maybe three thousand more. On the, it had a big banner on the balloon, and then Great. one on. The I, I haven't awesome. ordered these yet, but these banners yeah. that I showed you, you know, uh -huh. I don't know why they couldn't put them on there. And that, this just horse trading. It's just saying if we're going to pay you a thousand bucks, but we want these banners on this right. balloon. Right. If we don't have them. You ain't coming. I mean, that's just, you just sometimes have to do that. You know? What do you? I mean, uh, I don't care, the, average or whatever. You know what I mean? On, it's on the thing I gave you from last year, I think. It's blacked out. Well, no, it's on the, uh, his application. Oh, it's I don't, on the application. Uh, I guess I don't have that. Did it not? Did it get passed so, out last meeting or something? No, it was several meetings. It was almost the handwritten one. Yeah, I guess I left mine home. So here, the income is now from like four thousand one seventy five. Okay. Then that was the eighteen expenses. Eighteen the gate netted and in the gate and so forth netted eighty four thousand one seventy five. And the expenditures was twenty three thousand. That was out of my budget. That's what cost us to do that. That's roughly pretty good. There was 60,000 netted there. <clears throat> so this year you're expecting 50,000 profit. Correct? Is, that, is this what I'm reading here? 50,600. This is your estimated cost, 34.4, which matches this. Mm -hmm. Right. So this would be your profit margin, your 50,600 after everything's paid for. That's the estimate. You can you, you get into you know, stuff that's down the road. You can't really zero that in, but uh, that's an estimate. What do we do? Uh, I guess I'm asking around too. What do we do if it gully washes rains all weekend and we give all this money and there's no prairie land? <laughs> We're just it goodbye. Yeah, it's just the way it yeah. goes. Prairie land goes on. It's not the first time we had a big rain. I understand, but yeah. what, you're, I, you're what I'm concerned from our is, point with our money, it's, it's well, I mean, it. you know, uh, that's like me driving. Just like you say, mm -hmm. for this, for your, you know, that, that's what I'm saying. It's just the show goes on. I understand. Yeah. The show goes on. We park off the grounds. We we travel them in. We take like the like we did on the on the auction. We had buses, uh, took them in from the state hospital, brought them in, took them back, studied two buses, and made around. We paid for that. Right. And you can't park on the grounds. Mm -hmm. And you'll, the 
the flea market will be down. Some things will be down, but the show will still go on. Right. Well, uh, right. I'm just saying, as far as instead of making fifty thousand, we may lose ten thousand. It's kind of the chance you take with anything. When we did when the concert, out, we were able to get insurance. Do you have insurance for rain? No. Okay, because we always had insurance for rain for the concert, so we would be able to recoup. Luckily, we never ran right. out. But right. If it rained so much. And we took that because we were out a lot of money if it rained and people didn't come. But that was our, yeah, our, yeah. our sponsor. But that was our, ours, our, right. Our right. Yeah, yeah. 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 So that's why you can do that. You can't do that, obviously, on. Right. We're there, we're there three days. Right. <clears throat> and, I mean, I really like, our village logo is not on here, but if you notice, all of our hotels are already on mm -hmm. this. You I, said you made 7,000 of these? Yes. Yeah, I'm more concerned over the hotels being listed than our logo. Because yeah, I like this. I agree. And it I says agree. South Jacksonville, so it says that. Mm -hmm. So I do like that part. I like that we're on the wristbands because everyone except for the education day, right, they have to have a wristband. I've been to South Jacksonville's motels, all four of them, and it was for a Prairie Land weekend with uh, three on the fourth. Really? Yeah. I notice you say reference Prairie Land when making reservations because that's something we need to do is better tracking because this would be a great thing, I think, for us to figure out next year. <clears throat> I'd like to see what numbers you get from this year on how many actually rented That's, motel rooms. I was just getting ready to say that. Yeah. This is something that we need to put in the store where we need to find out. Yeah. If we're giving this money out right. to these events, we need to know whether it's profiting us. I agree. Because if nobody's staying at what we're giving our money for, yeah. we're, I mean, we're just throwing it on the table. And I really like that you did this on your own. So there has to be some way that we can keep tabs. Yeah. We can be in... You know, they can tell us, okay, you know, whoever we give the money to, they, you know, let's say, okay, we give you X amount of dollars. So all your people who bring the animals, who has the, the booths and everything, when they go out there, obviously they're going to say that they're there for that because they're getting a special rate, if that's what you're talking about, correct? Right. Mm -hmm. So there ought to be a way that we know oh, yeah. and take in consideration for future that... Okay. I agree. We have 500 people that stand. Okay, you know. Then I'm more that's, comfortable. That's benefiting our revenue. So. Yeah, I work in an industry where it's data driven. I like data. Yeah. Curiosity: Which of the four hotels didn't give you a special rate? I was getting ready to tell you that. Okay, we I didn't just like all that. The ones that dictated up, so I could read them off to you. Mm -hmm. I got. I, I think they was 110 or 15 ounces. I'm not sure what they was. Bear in mind with all these. The Comfort Inn, give me $70 a night. The Sleep Inn, give me $70 a night. The Baymont Inn and Suits wouldn't commit because they didn't whether they'd have any extras or not. Evidently, the, they're working with, with uh, Illinois College, and Illinois College is doing some work to their living spaces and the college has called them and, and uh, they're working with the college on some people staying out there hmm. till they get to, college people staying out there till they get the dorms and stuff right back in I didn't know that. good shape where they want them. Been a lot of vehicles so he wouldn't come in on that. He was on call me, he hasn't done that. They're their construction workers maybe. Yeah. yeah, but they're only doing, I mean I'm working there right now, it's only Lincoln Hall. It's not like they got a big <coughs> construction project going on. Hmm. I don't know. And there's nothing really coming up other than Crispin Hall, and mm -hmm. it's just a. And they don't have a huge it's a body, new I see. chill water unit. So. <laughs> but anyway, neither, neither here nor there. But uh, I like that they gave you special rates, though. Yeah. That's what you told me. That is yeah. nice. Yeah, that's what we. Yeah, yeah, do. nothing. Yeah. <coughs> the other questions I can ask for you. The entertainment you're talking about, or those the two groups? Oh, where did I see that on here? Uh, but the, yeah, so there's entertainment. Yeah. And we're talking about having a little bit of, uh, I don't know what you want to call them, the uh, bluegrass or something down there. On one of the porches of the. Okay. Uh, the no metallic. Long cabin. Hmm? No metallic. <laughs> <laughs> of course not. Jason. 
What? Ham, ham, and beans. Mm -hmm. and beans. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, we did last year. Oh. You don't yeah. like beans? Don't put your ham. No. Ten thousand. That's a waste of ham. Three the year before. Exactly. Okay. You just go ham or no ham. No beans. You want oh. beans? Let's put it in baked beans. Nothing on the side. I can do that. We give it three thousand. Last year we gave it ten thousand. Hey. Okay. I only say like. I make enough money not to eat ham beans, all right? Any more questions <laughs> for Mr. Poole? If not, I just have a couple comments to make. <coughs> my, only, my only concern, and this is, again, this is not a critique of you, um, and, and you guys got to <coughs> give me a lot of do this. I have a really bad headache tonight. So um, my only concern is when we're doing a grant like this, that when it comes to expenses, you're, you're putting on an event that is, it, is bringing in revenue, and I use... Uh, Caution when I use the word profit because you're, you're a nonprofit entity, but it is bringing in revenue. So if we just take a chunk of your expenses, in this case, say 30000 and then we pay those 30000 expenses, theoretically, you're just going to make that much more revenue. So what I see when we do stuff like this is what my preference is, is we're, we would pay for additional advertising instead of this is stuff, a lot of the stuff here I'm seeing is just things that you would normally be paying for anyway. Um, so that's, that's my concern is that we should maybe, maybe be paying for additional advertising, um, get outside of that uh, 50 mile bubble, and that brings in people that are going to be spending the night and staying at hotels and advertising places, you know, like Quincy and Champaign and farther away from here. Um, rather than just paying expenses that you would have normally had anyway. Thoughts on things so like that? So you propose advertising in the Quincy uh, area? Well, I, I mean, I'm not telling them where they advertise. I'm just saying, uh, you know, and I'm taking things from, from Paula's playbook when we did the, uh, the concert of trying to push that advertising out mm -hmm. to get more people in. But I'm saying in general when we're doing grants, and again, I'm not picking on, on you specifically, just in general when we're doing these grants, if somebody's, you know, hey, we're doing an event that, if it makes anywhere, you know, nonprofit entity that's making anywhere from one dollar to a hundred thousand dollars, they're making their money, and again, not it's not profit, but you see what I'm saying. And then they say, well, we want you to pay for a chunk of our our expenses. That's just unless there's anything different there that those expenses we pay for means mean it just means they're going to get more profit. Um, I mean, you're saying like subsidizing the event. Basically. Exactly. Yeah. So, as far as you know, I'm I'm just going to pick on a couple items here, and you know, like with face painting, attractive pools, and porta potties, and things like that. Those aren't things that are going to bring in more people, so it's not going to increase the the tourism to, to South Jacksonville. If it's something big, like uh, you know, you want to try and duplicate what Lincoln used to have, that Lincoln, yeah, Lincoln used to have with their balloon fest. And you needed to get that off the ground. Um, that brings in thousands and thousands of people. So sure, that would be something. Um, or if it's advertising outside of this bubble <clears throat> here to increase your advertising radius, yeah, that that makes sense. But just paying the normal expenses that were already there, I'm not sure if that's what our our uh, tourism grant should be uh, geared towards. We do advertise. If I can interrupt you here. No, no, that's that's my thought. So we do advertise an Antique Power magazine, which goes all over the country. Okay. We advertise on another magazine, which goes all over the country. So those those are advertised. And, and I'm not saying that you don't. I'm saying that things that maybe what we should be asked to be paying for instead of us paying for parking that you got to have anyway is that this extra money should be paying for more advertising to bring more people in, because that should be the point of these grants, is to bring more people in. This is, so, uh, Mr. President, this is, uh, this is in South Jacksonville. It, it oh, brings, I agree. It, it brings people into South Jacksonville left and right. Oh, I agree. What they, what they do in South Jacksonville, I can't control them. But uh, we bring, we bring oh, I, 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 I wholeheartedly agree, and I'm not trying to be, I, I'm not trying to be negative with that. I'm, I'm not, I'm not saying like, no, this is a bad thing. I'm just saying that <coughs> when we look at giving a tourism grant, we need to look at where the expenses go because you have a fairly large budget here. You know, it's not, you're not looking at some of the grants we gave that were fifteen hundred dollars. So instead of saying, hey, you know, we're going to pay for a porta potty, you got to have a porta potty anyway. We need to look at things that are going to 
you want to jump from 10,000 to 30,000. So you, we want to look at things that are going to try and increase your numbers. And us paying for things that are already in your normal budget wouldn't increase your numbers. That's what I'm trying to get at. I'm not saying that you know, the, the event itself isn't a good thing for South Jacksonville. Obviously, it is. It brings a lot of people to town. So we're, we're in agreement there. I'm just talking about the increase. Well, anyway, that's that's where I'm at. What I what I've asked for, uh, no time I get what I asked for. But uh, anyway, um, Jason, did you have some? I'm here to answer any more questions that you have, if I can. I I, I think what kind of break it down. What he's trying to say is, please do. When we <laughs> when we give money to, and I and I get it. It's in South Jacksonville, and we've gave money all these years past. Am I? Is this yeah. true? So, I guess for my own understanding, when you put 50th celebration, $10,000, in other words, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, whenever we give money like this, we have to know that this is what it's for, this is what it's benefiting you. That's why we give money to create revenue for the village. <coughs> so, I think that's what he's trying to get to, like, he feels that, you're asking for thirty thousand dollars, and here's your total expenses of thirty-four four. So, and, and don't get me wrong, that's a lot of money, but it, it don't show it in here that we have thirty thousand dollars worth of, in other words, billboard material to show that this is worth us profit and revenue for the village. Is that what you? More or less, yeah. Yeah. I mean. It, He's saying that he thinks that it's just paying for your expenditures that you're putting into the show that would be ran any other day. Now, if you'd say, okay, South Jacksonville on the side, and it cost $2,500, then we're seeing, okay, that is our, or, we're getting our bang for the buck for. Forget about the. For a second. Let's say, hey, this is something we never had before. It's a thousand dollars that we haven't budgeted for, and if the village gave a grant and paid for that, that's going to bring an extra predicted thousand people to town. Okay, that's ten thousand dollars, isn't it? I thought you said no. You said a thousand. thousand for the balloon. I'm just throwing out a, a, an is it expense 10, because that's a new $2, expense. $2, oh, you oh, said a thousand. Yeah, you said yeah, a thousand. So yeah. that's why I was why thinking that sounded. I thought that sounded cheap. Yeah. I was gonna yeah. say, hell, I'll rip that for my daughter's <laughs> right. birthday. Right. Thousand bucks. Two thousand dollars. Okay. Is that the? Is there a weight limit? <laughs> there is, but Dick never won so. at the time. <laughs> just asking for a friend. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, no, yeah, come on now. They'll, they'll, take, they'll take the, the balloon. Did oh. you see if they could make a balloon? that seemed and, You know, and did one other that. thing, guys, look on there. He doesn't have anything down for advertising, and you can mm -hmm. drop $10,000 in advertising, yeah. as you're suggesting. Yeah. You know, but $10,000 in advertising, nothing. No, it's not. And that, and that might seem like, like semantics when, when I say this, yeah. but... For instance, like Dick just said, instead of us paying ten thousand dollars for your this line, we pay ten thousand dollars for that line. Again, that might seem like semantics, but it's it's not, uh, and it's not because we got to make sure what we do for you, we also do for the next one and the next one. He didn't have anything down for the inter entertainment on the bandstand, which I got no idea what these bands cost. You know? Oh wait a minute, Dick. If you look up underneath the budget, there's show advertising thirty five hundred. Has a line item, Formality and then it's a drop down. Right halfway down. Yeah, and then, then I guess entertainment a thousand dollars. That might be that. I think they're just split out. Is that how you have it? Is that your budget? Yeah. You got some budget there. So my That's advice would I'm be just to ask for more specific items and change those items to advertising. And we, we gave five five thousand in the past, right? Ten last year. Oh, we gave ten. Yeah. But before okay, that, so we were at three. Yeah. Or we went from three to ten so, last year. Fast forward, we give them, let's say, figuratively speaking, we give them thirty thousand dollars, right? This is the fiftieth. He calls it the fiftieth. This is the big shebang. Mm -hmm. So then next year, hey, we gotta bring the balloon back. We gotta bring all this expense back, but now it's more because the cost of living's up. Everything costs more. So now I need forty because it went from ten to thirty. 
And if we don't get all this stuff back, plus more, it's going to go right back to losing boosts like it is not, you know. Mm-hmm. Just, no, that's a great know. point. It's a lot of money. That's I mean, why just... I've said for I don't know how many months that I thought we needed to have some kind of plan for tourism because then grants, if you have an amount for grants, in my mind, this is a no-brainer that this one should get the most because it's our only people, South Jacksonville event, only. We have nothing else that we do, nothing. So that's where i come from it i try to look at it as a whole i get what you're saying about the pieces because we have to be careful but then i also don't want they do make a profit and they deserve to make a profit and i look at it as a resident and a trustee thinking i don't want to lose Perry Land. no 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 absolutely it's not. already going down you have validated that you saw it i saw it when i went i love it i go every year mm-hmm. i feel like it's up to us if we can help we're not going to fund the entire thing but if we can help an event in our own village, Absolutely. I think we should. I'm not saying that. And not you make a anything. great point. Say we gave the whole 30, right. then next year, you're right. So that's why I feel we have to do a better job and make a plan. Then we can go, guys, this is it. Our grants say this much. Now we need to prioritize who's most, you know, I, I'd say everybody's deserving, but we have to, we can't give to everyone. No. We need to prioritize. So I get what you're saying. Fair thirty thousand dollars, and they ain't giving shit for this. That's sad. It is. I mean, I mean, it is. Correct me a little bit here if I can. Well, yeah, absolutely. Fair. So, I mean, I don't care. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's well, Morgan County, but this still. is our county fair. No, I know that. But yeah, I'd say we need to reach not. out to some aldermen and let them know we're disappointed if they don't give you. Money. I mean, really, this is county. our county fair. Yeah. that's their county fair. No, no, no. Everybody I, I know that. What did you want to say, Hank? Okay. Wasn't you wanted to clarify Jackson something. Village. I wanted, I wanted to correct the county a couple of you over here. Okay. You say here, I'm going to be here next year and ask for 40000 That's all. That's not going to happen. Okay. I'm going to be here next year, probably asking for 20000 Because I don't have a balloon. It's not going to be here. It's a, it's a one-time shot. It's a one-time shot. This is the 50s. It's a one-time shot. That's why I got... Uh, here over here, the dignitaries coming out and so forth, and uh, trying to get some extra things going on for the for the show. I'm not coming to ask you for forty thousand dollars next year. I'll guarantee you that it'll be less. I didn't say he was. I'm just saying that it's it's right. It was just a, yeah. hypotheticals. So. Hypothetical. Uh, that was more to you, us okay. probably. Hey, yeah. I get it. Whenever. Yeah. You put an event on, you want it to be the best it can be, yeah. right? Yeah. So For 50 years, yes. Yeah. Right. But you, every, every year. So that's why I threw that in. I'm not saying that you're going to. There's no, you know, I'm just saying hypothetical. Do you have a number yet for your advertising cost? Or I do not. Okay. Do you have a guesstimate? Uh, I don't remember what we advertised years. last year oh. for that. No, hardly. It's probably around five grand. 35 to 5 grand. I don't have. I don't so, have why don't we focus on things that that we will benefit from? Or, you know, like. The balloon, I would Sponsoring think. the balloon. Yeah. The advertising. Uh, the you know, wristbands. Print. We're already on the wristbands. Radio advertising, they can add a tagline saying paid for by yep. Village. Yep. That's where I was trying to get earlier that. When we get money, we have to, I mean, it's, yeah. I, I'm sorry to put it this way, but that's that's how it has to work. I mean, it has to benefit us for revenue. Otherwise, you know, it right. just, it, uh, yeah. we're you know, basically funding an event that, you know, that we, we're not. And that's why I was saying I don't want it to sound like semantics, but it matters on which items we pay for. So. Right. If we do it that way, I think that we can justify as to why we spent that money. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. It makes and it, and it makes it more clear cut that way. You said five thousand. Well, the event in South Jacksonville. Mm-hmm. It, uh, it benefits South Jacksonville one hundred percent. It's the biggest event in South Jacksonville. Right. We agree. I mean, yeah. it's a yeah. great event. We all go. Yeah. We think it's spectacular. It's just, you know, uh, outside of the box. We, you know, it's just uh, we have to decide. Besides these, have you got anything else printed up? Ready to go, like the calendar. Yeah, there's some business cards. Calendars are being printed up. No, not being printed up yet. Okay. They'll be printed up and out, ready to go by 
first week of September. So if we were to sponsor them, then uh, we, we have time to change that then. You are, you are sponsoring them. I don't come. Okay. Uh, the calendar ads are, um, I bring you over a bunch and put on the, the lady puts on the calendar out here every year. Okay. And South Jacksonville's in it. costs $50 a space. You're free. You don't, you, I don't come over here and mm -hmm. ask for money from you people. No, you don't. And, uh, and also, uh, I think uh, last year, I think I gave 54 wristbands out in the village South Jackson to get in free. So, uh, no, anyway. That, I was just going to ask on that calendar, do our hotels show up on that too then? Or could they? They're not, I don't believe. On the calendar. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Oh, yeah, like the, the logo or yeah. something? Yeah. <laughs> See them. I mean, we already have advertising. What did these cost you? They're, they're less than thousand dollars. Okay. You've got seven hundred for the. So seven hundred. You want a quick? Oh, yeah. Probably hundred dollars. Oh. says trifold printing. So that's no, well, the way our ordinance is written right now, it's specifically hotels. It okay. doesn't say okay. restaurants. We can always look at that, but. Right now, the tourism ordinance is specifically hotels. I went to the restaurant. I'm not uh, saying we shouldn't. The old, the old Kai's Cafe restaurant up there last year, and uh, the family wasn't interested mm -hmm. in an ad. It's going to cost him fifty dollars. Who was that? Oh, it, the people oh, around the new. Oh, I think it's the it changed owners, maybe. It's called the Yeah, they're out of Jerseyville. You might try. Well, they changed. Even something. since they changed owners, they've changed owners. Yeah. The, they're oh, they brother, they're brother-in-laws, yeah. and one brother-in-law bought the other brother-in-law out. So. Oh. And it's, no, it's better. <laughs> oh. It's better. <laughs> Way better. So, just doing some quick math here, though, like your, uh, what I can check off here, show buttons, counter printing, trifold, the wristbands, if the balloon is 10,000, um, exhibitor ribbons, I'm not sure what that is, but I checked that off. And then at five thousand for uh, advertising, you're already up to twenty thousand dollars right there. There's so. close to there's close to uh, five thousand stuff we're giving away. Mm -hmm. we're, we've no. we've identified some things that we're putting the fiftieth anniversary on that we're going to we're going to give out. Mm -hmm. I'm just giving an example of, of you ask for those items, you're going to get closer to that thirty thousand dollars. Does that make sense? Then you're going to price for that. Yeah, we are. And, and I suggest on the advertising, all these, with the exception of Illinois Times, are within 10, 15 miles of Jacksonville. You know, mm -hmm. you have not been in Quincy, you have no television, which... That would really raise your budget if you put TV. Yeah. Oh, he does, he has, well, TV spots, cast advertising. Cast, yeah. Okay, cast advertising. That's I don't know what that is. That'd be a, and, a you know, there's a lot of free TV stuff that you can... Cast com advertising. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cascom goes out quite a ways. So you were like at about twenty grand if we increased, right? Mm -hmm. If I, I checked off the print stuff and then yeah. five thousand for advertising, you're at twenty grand. But that'd be my advice is to go outside of that bubble there and advertise. I'd, like, I'd, and you can drop five grand and more to advertising. This, which will, this was one day for six hours, correct? The balloon, six yes, hours only. Yeah. You said six hours only mm -hmm. for the balloon nights on, yeah. on Saturday. That, that's what that's what you recommend for ten thousand dollars. Okay. Uh, excuse me. If we have it, uh, you know, Sunday Sunday morning is a bad morning. Church is going on. We don't have a lot of crowd out there till noon, eleven o'clock. So then you then you have Sunday afternoon. You're winding down. Mm -hmm. So sure, yeah. Saturday afternoon is your biggest. And Saturday ball. is the biggest day. Mm -hmm. Then Friday is is mainly education day and sure. and uh, so yeah. You'd have a lot of kids lined up there. Lord, that's big. Yeah. Yeah. That's I'm, a big balloon. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure that I didn't realize gonna, it was that big. He's going to uh, <coughs> have them sign a waiver before they get in there. Yeah. And he goes up with them, and they can only, only put so many in that. Now, now I heard you say something about in. insurance. Is there an extra insurance policy you have to carry to have that on your pro or on the property, or what? Sure. I'm trying so. to get one. Is that in the ten thousand? He's got a. No. Okay. The guy that owns the balloon's got to have something. Mm -hmm. Oh my yeah. God! Yeah, I'm trying. To, I'm trying to. Okay, that's a good point. I'm trying to get an insurance company 
to handle for us, plus what he's got for us, because yeah, you, you could that be figure is not in the ten thousand. No. It has in here that a full balloon ride is usually two hundred dollars plus per person. I think it's a great thing if we can. I think that's I wouldn't pay two hundred dollars. I've, to go I've been looking at their website. Would I'd been. go for free, but I wouldn't pay two hundred dollars. <laughs> but I think this is awesome because you're offering it to a lot of people that I'm not getting it. Would never. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure I would do it for no. free. I'd I've never been in a plane, so I ain't getting it. I like really? when things are free no. mm -hmm. for people. I think you ought to go on the balloon. Hell no. First of all, we're going to look at me and go, mm -mm. What are you, what did you find on their website? Oh, I just, the, they have stuff for like, like if you were to reserve you. You uh, a balloon ride with your husband. Uh huh. Uh, and those would, would, from what they look like, be like an untethered, just go up and you have some cheese and you look at stuff or yeah. whatever. Yeah. Um, and then the the tethered thing is like a whole another different section and everything. So okay, that two hundred dollars per person is probably more the, the cheese. Yeah, the, the romantic <laughs> okay kind of thing. Well, maybe you can have a good breakfast <laughs> up there, dinner, yeah. cruise. You're getting yeah. cheese. There's nothing romantic about. That. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Know, I'm just going off what I've seen on TV. Okay, nice gotcha. There. That might be where the two hundred. Advertising I, or what I, do you say? I, I, to yeah. cut this thing short, because we got other things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But you ask for thirty, I would recommend. I would suggest not recommend, but you go for twenty-five. Spend ten on advertising, ten on the balloon, and five on the, the rest of the other side. Yeah. The yeah, the wristbands that we're already on. That makes sense. The wristbands, the print, the yeah, yeah. the rest of the things we checked off on there. With the understanding that next year. We just have to keep the middle. We know, yes. The yes. Somebody get their Indian outfit, start doing the no rain dance on there. <laughs> I, I think you can get cheap advertising at Channel 20 right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah they're, they're hurting for sponsors. Uh, yeah. That's a really good point. I like the, the, I like the 25. <laughs> yeah. I, I tell you what, the balloon's that big, it might be a code red because I think it's a big storm. Mm -hmm. So, there I could go shopping for some more advertising and then. There. You know, I <clears throat> this Facebook thing. I, are you on Facebook, Hank? No. You can't believe how powerful Facebook is. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, you can buy ads on it. It's not expensive. I'm, I'm no, near it's it's cheap. Oh, I don't break it but down. But it's one <laughs> hell of an advertising. And you can click where you want it to advertise and all kinds of stuff. Yeah. So yeah. Digital you know, advertising is the way to go now. Um, and actually, Sinclair Broadcasting does. Digital yeah. advertising on different mm. packages, and they can do what they call geofencing and and geographical areas. So if somebody's cell phone passes through that, I've got a deal that comes out and it's for auctioneers, but it's a little, just a little bit of ad, and it goes in. It can go in every paper in, in Illinois, and it's probably six hundred dollars, and it's you know it's cheap. And I know they would be the social same thing. Social media brings a lot, especially if you don't have it in here for the balloon. I'm damn yeah. sure put that on social media. Mm -hmm. so. so are you saying for Thursday's meeting? Oh, we already we, got that that agenda's out. Perfect. So. So is it on there? No, it's not. Yeah. Oh. So oh. Th this is not on there for. I thought it was. Where's your agenda? It is? For this Thursday. Oh, is it's it? for July 2nd one. It's on July 2nd. Oh. Well, hell, that's, what, two weeks? It's only two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. So. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I'd be good with the 25 so on July 2nd. That's not on anyways. <laughs> we've got a lady, young lady, Nora Works, works at Cast Common, Virginia, that does all this Cast Common work and puts stuff on the, on the internet and puts stuff on decks, as you say, on uh, whatever, Facebook or whatever you call that. And uh, <laughs> she knows all that stuff. Does a good job. Good. He's putting the calendar together for us. Face printing up here prints the calendar. I used to be printing in Springfield, and I took it all the way back over. I got moved and, all the stuff and, back into Jacksonville. And right now, I'm telling you, you need to get your act together. Not that you haven't, but we need to to get this thing on the billboard as soon as the fair is over. Because <coughs> that's it's. I don't and they know. only come once a month now, so what we need an we, image. 
Did we pay for it last year? They paid for it. Or who? I couldn't tell you. At the most, it's going to cost you four hundred and fifty. Well, it might, depends on. Sometimes yeah. they charge us up to six hundred for damage. I want to say we did, but I'd have to double check. Off the top of my head, I think the village paid I'd for it. Probably. So, but so, I'd have to check. But you need to have your people working on that now. You paid for the auction. Village so paid for the auction. Right. Okay. I don't yeah. think they did a billboard for the steam show, did they? I, you know, now that you know. say that, I don't think they did. Did for the auction. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> I'd have, I'll double check. I, I would like for okay. you to, to contact us back after you go to Jacksonville, and I'd like to know. Absolutely, I would too. What is said and whether they're going to give any donation or not. I think I'll send a message to the mayor. I can tell you right now, but I'll go, I'll go up there. Well, just let them know that, you know, or you that he we to, gave, you know, get somebody to. Well, no, no, never mind. Facebook. They well, know. No, just the they face. They said they have street. Yeah, yeah. That'd be great. They know you're giving money up there, and uh, and uh, they know well, you're giving money. Well, I, I would like for you to be in contact with us after you do. Let me just text the mayor. There's a little here. bit of uh, <laughs> animosity there because we used to pay into their tourism. Your funds. definition of low bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then we pulled out and yeah. So let me tell you something. How long ago was that? Was let me tell you something. Mayor. They need to get over it. It's no, been long right. enough. Oh no, man. What? <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you something. The Ferguson National Group is gonna be at our show. The president is out of on the other side of Mary over there this year. They're coming in here and they're going to do, they're going to tear a tractor down, put it back together in 30 minutes or less or four minutes or less. I don't know what the patient is probably. But he came over here and I tried to gain the work of me a little bit. And he went to the Jacksonville Convention Center. Uh huh. They sent him to the motels in Jacksonville. They sent him to, uh, Banjo on Saturday night. <clears throat> the place uptown was busy, so they sent the Elks Club. They sent him no place in South Jacksonville. No place. I gave him one of them there. I talked to him about the rates and so forth here. Well, we're too late. They're out there. It's cost us more. I said, well, he didn't come to me. Oh, yeah, they won't, they won't give them South Jacksonville names. So, Since well, we won't I mean, give them any money. Oh. Well, I mean, it's kind of the same way. Yeah, I mean, I'll yeah. give it to, you know. Yeah. All right. All right, yes. So it looks like it'll be on the July agenda. July, Hank. yes. July 2nd. Second. July 2nd. It's on a Tuesday. Thank and you. We're, and we're yes, thank you. Thank you. You're thinking 25? Uh -huh. Yeah. Looks like it. Thank you, Hank. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah thank you. Personnel, do you have uh, the salary cap? Stuff? I do. Um, can I get a consensus from the board, though? Are you okay if I send out the $1,500 tourism grants you approved at the last meeting before the next one? Because it's for Fourth of July stuff. So. Yes. yes. Everybody good with yeah. that? Go ahead yeah. and release them. Yes. Okay. All right. Here are, when you're looking at personnel, this is an email that's gone out before. There's a packet for everybody here. And you're going to go into this. Thank you. You're welcome. And just to be clear, we're talking about the salary caps, not the not the individual salaries. Um, we talk about like talking about Jason's salary. We need to talk about that in closed not session. Okay. <laughs> not enough. Not enough. Um, so we're talking about the salary caps of the different positions, which. The first, okay, the first one was the email that went out that was a spreadsheet of everybody's that somebody had asked for. I can't remember if someone asked for it. Wanted to know. I did. Was that, okay, yeah. and then. That and then the second part is I want to be really clear when you're looking at this with the highlights. This was not, it's like a wage study, but it was not an intensive study, it was not a um, like a professional, you know what I mean? Like it was me calling around to these various areas, speaking to someone who knew what they were talking about, and just jotting down what they were telling me as they told me. And I didn't FOIA any information from them, I didn't give them a specific list. Um, so, I, you know what I mean? Honestly, it was very informal. Just, I want everybody to realize that. Um, it's honest. You know, it's what they told me. But, um, 
So you just picked areas around here? Uh, what I, went, on, I went online and I looked for similar sizes okay. and um, some of them obviously are a little bit above, some of them are below, um, just around us, you know. Some of them you can't really, I didn't put Jacksonville on there. You can get on Jacksonville's and look at theirs. Um, all of their positions are obviously higher. Well, yeah, that's you know not comfortable I mean? to us. Um, yeah. Well, I mean, it is and it isn't. Tim talks about that all the time because you cross the street. You know what I mean? So, uh, See, and I would think Sherman is not comparable just because have you been to Sherman? It's super nice. Yeah. And it's not the same quality. Their tax gotcha. base is higher. I went on See, that's how I'm thinking. Okay, so you went population. Yes. That's great. At least I know how it yes. was. Thank I went you. on population around ours. Like I said, some of yeah. them are a lot lower. Some yeah. of them are. No, this but is it's right in that. Sure. Yep, yeah. Sherman is super or, bougie. Okay. Yeah. Well, when you yeah. look at Pittsfield. That shit to the penthouse, though. Yeah, but they're not the same as us either because right. if you live and work for Pittsfield, you're driving to Quincy or here, yes. where if you're here, you drive across. You know what I mean? So you just kind of have to take it for what it is. Right. Um, John actually went through these and marked where you can see the two together on some of those. That's not me. Um, John went through and marked those where some of those, um, like for... Multiple departments. Like mul multiple departments, which you can see where some of those anyway. Not everyone's organized the same way we are. Right. You right. know, so, um, but you can see there just where everything is. Mm -hmm. Everywhere it's highlighted the different towns. Um, but yeah, it just kind of gives you an idea of where we are, where they are, mm -hmm. benefit wise. All that. Oh, Most sorry. of the employees we have, and I'm talking about policemen and or our water and sewer mm -hmm. guys and all. They're all union. Yeah, they're all unions, union, so we can't. Uh, we've got. Uh, so six, we've got so no many. control. Over Nine that. of our 15 employees are covered yeah. by CDC. So we have no yeah. control. Over right. That. It, it is what so it is. the Limited police. Control. We're just Limited. talking about yeah. the chief. Yes. Right, yeah. yeah. And his administrative assistant. Sure. Yes. And same with John got that. would be his water clerk. Yes. And then me and then all, of, well, my two office staff are the only one full time. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's it. HR. Oh, I see. Yeah. You know, like this, like all of them, we wear a lot of hats, you know? <coughs> um, we just Second. do. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, there's some yeah I was just curious. Different payroll clerks, like there's... Um, I wonder who handles that in these little... I think a lot of their elected clerks... Depends. Okay. Um, and then, was there something else on that? I know that's yours. You can, sorry, did I give you that too? Yeah. Okay. Was that all you needed for that part? Yeah. Okay. And the COLA, um, so everybody's on the same page. What we did last year for a cost of living raise, we passed a, uh, a with a minimum of whatever the federal COLA was, cost of living adjustment. Um, I think it was 2%. Actually. And then a maximum, I was thinking 1.8, but it, it was in the end with a maximum yeah. of up to 5 based on like employee evaluations and whatnot. Um, this year, it's up. It's 2.8% um, is what the federal COLA was. Uh, in addition to that, well, the one thing we need to keep in, not, not necessarily the back of your mind, it needs to be really up front there. With some of the employees that are on the bottom of our scale, the, uh, that minimum wage is going to be fifteen dollars an hour in twenty twenty five. Twenty twenty five. We're talking a long time, yeah. It, It'll be what nine a quarter. Dollar seventy five. We'll have another year. budget by then. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, but I'm I'm saying it goes up each year, and yeah. we've got yeah. some right. that are that are down there, so mm -hmm. we don't want them to get overtaken by minimum wage and have them go work for McDonald's for more than they can work here. So just something to keep there, keep in your mind. I think something else is you're looking at this, not all of them, not all of them, but a whole bunch of them in here is that they are not furnished insurance or they pay a pretty good chunk. That's that's where that recommendation came from me, yeah. where, you know, we need to look at increasing that because you're you're absolutely right. Some a lot of them pay part of it, a lot of them still cover the employee entirely, but um, but that's I'm sure your upper probably does and then your uh, under your, you know, lower pay 15 or whatever it is, you know, minimum wage probably don't, right? Would, would be my assumption, wouldn't you think, Dick? 
Yeah. Like say your assistant public works superintendent, that they probably do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or your, I, Riverton says employees pay forty dollars per pay health insurance premium with a thousand dollar deductible. So I'm assuming it's eighty dollars a month. That would be right. Oh. Yep. I would kill somebody for that. No kidding. <laughs> yeah. Hey, without hesitation. It's being recorded. <coughs> oh, I, that was sarcasm. <laughs> yeah, that was not an actual <laughs> yeah, <but> threat. <laughs> it's today's age. <coughs> I didn't watch your ass. Oh, I've talked to the recorder before. Hmm. <laughs> Burden, they pay 100 bucks. A and what is ours? What is our deductible you said? The, em Remind the employee coverage is completely paid for by the village. Any dependents, the employee has to completely pay for. So there's no break there. So we do have. Good and benefits. It, it is. It's 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 really good. They have none. Zero. Zero. zero premium whatsoever. Is there a position open? Yeah. And yeah. No yeah. kidding. It's only a two hundred fifty dollars deductible. Yeah. That that's what that's we talked about raising the deductible. the deductible. Did I say deductible? Oh, I thought you were asking premium. No, I asked what the deductible was. So when they only, you said no deductible, I'm like, what? Well, two fifty well, no. might as well be nothing. But yeah, exactly. Exactly. It's a really, really low deductible. deductible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's. Pretty similar to what it was in District 117 when I worked there. Mm -hmm. uh, zero for me, 100% for a family. Mm -hmm. I don't remember what my deductible was. Um, I'm sure it was much higher than that. I, yeah. I, I worked there too. Than I think it was. Well, and part of yeah, this too still, is that when, yes. when you look down the line, you got to think yeah. too, looking down the line later, and now even, um, that you got to be able to offer affordable insurance to someone who doesn't. You know, like our, mm -hmm. we have a department head, for instance, that has to pay for his family full price. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. it's costing him $900 a month then for that, where maybe we lose a department head or an office person that has to go somewhere else that they mm -hmm. can get it for 400 a month instead of 900 You know what I mean? So if we look at lo lowering those deductibles, um, that'll actually make that more affordable for them too, to be able mm -hmm. to... You know what I mean? Because it would yeah, cost yeah. them less than. Yeah. Um, I know. Any easier but I, yeah, I always think with yeah. that, when it's your family, mm -hmm. if we get into worrying about their families, because I didn't work for years and my husband paid out the wazoo mm -hmm. for me and for oh, dependents. Yeah. So he just did it Absolutely. so I could stay home. I get that uh -huh. and I sympathize mm -hmm. because we lost a lot of money over the sure. years. But that's, he, it's not like we were going to go in and question that. Right. Or, no, I'm saying it would know. benefit the village, though, too, and the employee. Like, because the village would save money by lowering, or by increasing our deductible. Increasing our deductible, Absolutely. yes. Absolutely, and that, yes. that in turn would offer them a lower insurance rate. Oh, I thought you were saying do something with their family no. thing. Well, it okay. would, if for, if they would need it. It's a win-win for all. I okay. Mean, I think we should raise our deductible, but you talked about yes. doing that later. The, the family rates would be cheaper because the deductible is higher. Right. Okay. Yeah. As long as we, <laughs> that makes sense yeah. then. I yes. wasn't following what yes. you are saying. As long as we benefit. Then I'm okay if the yeah. family gets it. I thought you were going the other way, and I was like, oh. I was too at first. Yeah. So I, okay. <laughs> that makes perfect sense. No. It's it's kind of cut through. Yeah, they see that yeah. you're paying more of a premium or a deductible, so yeah. then oh, we'll give you a little more. You know. Yeah. So. yeah. Keep in mind your water sewer guys are under contract, so that won't affect them at all. We right. can't do anything with theirs. Right. Um, mm -hmm. But that's three. So. So we have how many that this would intervene with? How many? Department head. You're talking. What are you Raising the deductible. Oh, oh, that's something we could talk about later. I mean, we can talk about it now, but we can't do anything with it till January anyway. I understand, but I'm saying uh, how many. It would be there's. You're saying three we wouldn't. I so. want to say there's a dozen on our insurance plan. Okay. okay. Um, but keep in mind also with that, three of those are the Fitzgerald family. That we, what? The Fitzgerald family that we have the Public Service Employee Benefit Act obligation to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hold on, let's, so let's, you know let's, let's, let's dumb this down here. With this, Scott Fitzgerald, Fitzgerald was that was killed, this? Scott Fitzgerald. our police Is officer, that okay. so then we have to give them insurance. They get free insurance. Health yeah, health insurance yeah. Column. yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. what you're talking about, right? Till the kids yeah. are okay. yeah. 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 So for the kids 23. Yeah. The kids are 23 and she, as long as she doesn't ever get remarried. She doesn't get remarried, it's life. Yes. Okay. I got you. You done? I'm not hushing you. I, I just oh, I wanted to wait till you guys were done. Oh, okay. So that way, are you done? Yeah. Oh. Killed in the line of duty. I understand. And this is public law. This is nothing. Sure, yeah, I understand. Yeah, but they get it. They get free and in, free insurance 
until the kids are 23, right? 23, I think. 20. 25 or 26. Okay, so let's say 25. It's usually 26 so on yeah. the Yeah, that's what it, yeah. Ever, I guess. To, if, as long as she doesn't get remarried. Yeah, she yeah. got remarried, then it would end. Right. But, we pay her insurance for life. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is something that. Yeah, I didn't mind that too. It's new. It's, it's a PSEBA, yeah. yeah. Public Service Employee Benefit Act. Hmm. That's what. Wow. I mean, I think it's a great thing. Yeah. I'm not, yeah, I yeah. mean, uh, I just didn't know that. That's yeah. why I, 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 that's why I love you, you said that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, in the state mandates you do it, but then they don't provide you the funding to do it. Right. So you just right. kind of have to, mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's on us. So, which I'm saying, you know, it's not a bad thing, but. Yeah, yeah I would We're going to have to. We allow, have yeah, we have to allow right. for that for 26 years right. at least. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know how the kids, old the kids are, but not, not, not even 10 yet, I don't think. Not to sound cold, but would this affect them as well? Yes. That's what you this, this, yes. yes. Okay. Yeah, they're they yeah, that's why they, come <laughs> they don't They don't pay anything for it. No, 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 I yeah. know that, but, but the, the deductible part. Absolutely. They're, so then our cost of theirs Theirs mirrors ours. Yep. Okay. Yep. I just wanted to be... No, that's that's a good yeah. question. Yeah, there's, mm -hmm. there's ours. Okay. Well, we have that information. So unless anybody has anything they want to talk about with the open stuff, you want to go into, go ahead. I was just gonna say one more thing. You talked about salary caps last. Year. <laughs> took it to seventy thousand dollars. So they're yeah. So the three three right. department heads are at seventy thousand dollars. Caps. Not they're not, not being paid so you know, right? but per cap is currently at seventy. So that's just the most, you know, most that you book. So with that said, um, seventy thousand dollars. Yeah, I, I just said, I said, see, bro. That's all I said. Oh, no. Can you guys I'm say it's time to go? Yes. Motion to close. I'll the make that session. motion. Is that a second? Okay. <gasps> That's open. Yeah. Sure, that's I'm gonna go All to the favor, say aye. 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 Yeah, Jason aye. Gary would kill me if I didn't come back with other. Who's Gary? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna see this my jet, my boss. Oh, that's Gary Scott. Scott. Yeah. Yeah, I'll wait until whatever. I have to go with the. I have to go with the first question. Wait, the chairperson. Oh, that's what I Wait a minute. Sorry, oh, one second, two. Hi, hi, hi. How much on? What do we have left? I wasn't here. The budget? I mean, how much of the budget do you have left? I don't know. I don't remember where that is. Dick, we have two more people to go through. Huh? We got about Yeah, where did we end? I don't remember. We had John's stuff. Is it? Well, no, did we go over John's stuff and then we didn't go over Tim's stuff? We didn't finish the fire, did we? Because I know Tim sat here. I don't think we finished the, the whole fire. time and didn't yeah, do Jeff anything. Dick, he knows. He said there's two people. But he and well, then John still got, needs water and sewer. We got stuck on fire. We got stuck on fire and we stopped. That's oh, on. We yeah, so yeah, so we need to remove that from the budget, the 60. Right. Or whatever, 45, whatever. And, I, and Harry left, so I don't know if we give that directive to Tiffany. I think we can. Okay. I'm not sure. I mean, we all I agree to I need to go to the bathroom it. again. Did you guys set up cots? We ordered a pizza, and I had a pizza in my office. <laughs> you ordered her out? Yeah, we did, seriously. <laughs> I don't really think you hunt brother pizzas over half past the day. But. You know what? I, the other day I didn't have a lunch hour, and I went in there and I just grabbed a a single piece. It was all right, but it might have been fresh. You don't like it? Yeah. Yeah, I will say this. It was dry. There was not a lot of sauce on it. I don't know. Because it looks like Leo's there, doesn't it? Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Don't make it because they're not making it off that. They're making it off the gambling. Yeah. The pizzas, they've got to have some kind of food in there. So are you talking about yeah. FS's pizza? Oh. Not too good. Yeah, you know, five dollar lunch, a soda, <clears throat> a slice of pizza, and a bag of chips. Really? Yeah. You can't be expecting gourmet for that. That's that's just food to get it done. Well, that's way below gourmet. Yeah, I mean that's <laughs> you, you expect something to sit in your belly for that money. Oh. <coughs> that pizza.
pizza and I don't. <coughs> really? I don't pizza. What, the Hunt Brothers? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's okay. So what? But Are they still doing Taco John's out at Love's or what's going on? Somebody said I have still out there. It is, but I think I heard it was supposed to go to Taco John's. Yeah, sometimes. I don't know. I have some out there. Do the I? I hop is still there. They're still there. It's still there. Did you last, water? last week. I'm good. Right, Thank please. you. Mm. Yes, please. Mm. What's that? Leo's. You can't. He has the best pizza you'll get. It's my favorite. Yeah. At least in this area. Oh yeah. Did you have that delivered? Yes, he did. No, I didn't. <laughs> we did. I wish I did. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. We she just brought me a water. We said you asked for throw one, me you? under the bus. Darn right. I'll do it again if I have a chance. You asked for we kind of spread out, sorry. Yeah, we had a little party in my office. We just ate pizza and Well shoot. <laughs> Harry got away, but I was gonna tell her that uh, we'll clean the possibly other one. I may not be here Thursday. I've got what? to take my daughter to the airport. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Clean the other one. This Thursday. Thank you. The next I'll try to remember, yeah. No, uh, not this Thursday. Oh, this Thursday, yeah. I mean, yeah. It's, yeah. it's your prerogative. Two days from now. I'll go with. I'll go it's so a short budget. budget. Well, I'll tell you if I remember the clip for me not yeah, getting there. No, I mean, okay, are we <laughs> back in Tom on the I don't session? Know. I don't know. Yes. Well, you got to make a motion. Okay, it's all new. I need a motion. You got to wait for it. My wife cuts my darn right. Didn't Harry say the tourism grant was not on this? It is on Thursday night. What's on? He thought that it wasn't, but um, she said it is. She said it okay. was. Okay, so I need to tell Hank there. Cool it is on here. Well, we can always just not do it. No, I think you, we might as well just approve it while it's on there. This is going to be 25 to 30. 25, not 30, yeah. Is that mine? Yes, ma'am. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I was invading your space. That's yeah, not a problem. We were spread now. Oh, thank you. Are we in open session then? We've been. Yeah. Yep. Okay, fine. Of course, I will. Oh, thank you. You can yep. without me. Okay. All right. Well, she's full yell. <laughs> Budget time. Who wants to go first, John hey. or Tim? Tim. Yeah. Tim, go first. Let's go. Yeah, we're not done with ambulance. Can we get back to the general? Can we just start where we left off? Do you yes. Yeah, we're, we're, we're really <laughs> Harry left. I'm sorry. Where did we leave off at? Part of the um, general. We left off at ambulance. At ambulance, right. Yeah, come up to the table. Come on, He said his back was hurting, so he left. So Dick's in charge. So That's what I'm talking about. I'll throw it out there. i got to leave by 10 15 because Connor's got to go to work. So. He said he's getting an ambulance. Well, that's a likely excuse. Yeah. Sorry, Camden's in Cam Cam's better. old enough to stay by himself. I know, right? <laughs> go on, Richard. You're right there. All right, so I can stay on the phone. Amber, hey, let's go. What? Does she? Oh, go ahead. No. So, pretty self explanatory. <laughs> I don't know if anybody okay. can make it quick. Mm -hmm. Anybody have any questions on any of these? I will throw out down here on medical supplies. It has Pazit Grant. That needs to be taken back out. Of I was going to ask it. you if that was so reasonable. We have. Uh, Right now, it's sixty-seven hundred dollars through that. So that's the whole thing going there. But sixty-seven hundred dollars through a plasma grant. Okay. Just spend on medical supplies, and it actually doesn't need to be in there because we tell plasma what we want. They order it, goes through them, they send it to us. Great, right? Yeah. So that should be nothing. Well, it's, I still like to keep twenty-five in there oh, because okay. it won't oh. it won't pay for basic, you know, bandages and stuff okay. like that stuff. So basically, just a plasma grant. Taken out. Okay. Wording. And I just wanted to ask about the repairs and the maintenance of the building. I'd ask you guys all that, how you mm -hmm. split that up. Because there's nothing under ambulance. Correct. I just yeah. wanted to make sure. I, I didn't know how we do that. Yeah, it's always, from it always been looking back, the last one was out of the fire budget. You know, okay. we just have one unit. So I just want to make sure. So. Yeah, I know you have more space than right. police, but just want to make sure everyone's happy with the maintenance. I part. pay for all the trash. Okay. Do you? <laughs> we, pay for, we pay for internet. I don't know. Okay. There you go. <laughs> as long as you guys are all right with it and we're maintaining the building, then I'm okay with it. So I mean, that's the only question I had on yeah. that. Salaries, my that's. <coughs> I don't expect to spend five thousand on that, but yeah, who would that be? No, that's just that's uh, it's not. That's just payroll, basically. The okay. each fireman that gets paid for per okay. call. That's the one that goes through the payroll, actually. Okay. So what does that go through payroll? The ambulance does. If, if 
fire and rescue do not. But if they actually transport with the ambulance, that's what goes to pay. It's something to do with liability. I know that question yeah. comes up. Yeah. Actually yeah. Being an employee. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And that's yeah. where you can see the bulk of their budget goes to workers' comp. Mm -hmm. um, and it's because of liability issues insurance. and all that insurance. Mm -hmm. So, Tiffany, what do you think? Is there anything we need to do for, for the ambulance? Because that whole we were borrowing thing and do you have any suggestions no um i mean not at this point that's something you know that the board would want to you know if you want to look into like you talked about limiting it to south jacksonville or things like that or looking into growing it more but as it is it's just ham you know. okay i didn't know if you had any suggestions no we've i mean we've looked at cutting expenses and Raising revenues, and other than that, okay. There's nothing else we can really do with it at this point, without changing the operation itself right. more. Okay. Yeah. Any other questions on the ambulance? <laughs> move on. Can I just move back up on the fire side real quick? Mm -hmm. After we were discussing some stuff at the last one, and mm -hmm. talked with Tim a little bit on the communications, maybe. Add like five thousand dollar cushion in there just for in case something happens with the dispatch. What are the last four numbers of that? Uh, Ninety-one eighty. Okay. Add how much? Um, five thousand. Okay. Just in case something crazy happens with the uh, dispatch rate. Is that enough? <clears throat> it is on his end. Right? Okay. Because he pays a fairly small chunk of it. Yeah. In five. I can see if we got five hundred dollars to the fuel just with that new tax increase. Just for a little cushion just in case. Yeah. So four thousand? Mm-hmm. Another net that's all I have. That goes up nineteen cents a gallon July one, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. <coughs> What'd you say? Gas tax goes up nineteen cents a gallon July first. July first. Okay. Illinois. Okay, what else we got, kid? All right, well, let's move on to police. Police? Yep. Uh, same thing, guys. I won't go through it line by line because you've had it long enough at this point. Uh, I, I'm happy to take any questions. I do have a couple concerns uh, since Tiffany and I actually kind of put this together. Or we put it together with her help. Um, same thing on communications. We're, we're nervous about that. We don't know yet what has them pulling out and that hundred thousand dollars is going to do i don't have a suggestion on that hundred and twenty thousand i know last year we budgeted 145 <clears throat> and we actually spent how much does plasma kick in yeah hundred thousand hundred thousand yes sir and how many people are there on contributing to the 911 dispatch <laughs> county south city plasma out three. So, in essence, roughly, it could go up thirty-five thousand. Right? It could. What we're talking about now, it could actually go down. Believe it or not, Dick. We're we've gotten in a little bit of a, a quarrel uh, with calls being billed, calls versus something else. Something that I introduced two years ago. We've actually brought back to the table, and that is basing it off population. Uh, so far, it, it seems like it may be a possibility. So could stay the same, could go down a little bit, or I could totally get voted against and, and we could have to absorb our share of, it wouldn't be, <clears throat> it wouldn't be uh, a third of that 100,000 because we don't pay a third of the total budget now, but it, it could be 20 grand. Yeah. It truly could be. So I don't know, you know, if requesting to put that back at 145 where we had it last year, Last year we spent 91. How much? 91. So we actually mm -hmm. did very good. There's a lot of grants out there right now that we've applied through through 911. So uh, again, the struggle there is their budget starts in August, and and our budget obviously is well on its way by that point. So we're just doing budgets for them now. Are you planning on buying a car this year? Uh, with the council's permission, we have two in our budget. So that's, that's a 65, 65 grand. grand there. Correct. Correct. How's that work into your replacement schedule? Is that? That's the last two. The last and two. And then next year we begin rotating the 17s out. Okay. And then one of those 
but still, just like the years before, it'd be uh, paid for with the, uh, the drug seizure money? No, sir. Not that's this gone. year? Okay. Yeah, that's gone. We do we'll have... Get to work. I we need know. more drug seizure money. <laughs> <laughs> well, there was a lot of activity while you were out of town. Was there? Didn't... Oh, all right. <laughs> the federal agents that spent a week here were... <laughs> hard to entertain kind of busy on Harden Avenue weren't you we uh, that was a 25 sale per day bus that oh, we wow. shut down yeah. where was that I'm sorry uh, 1418 Harden Avenue wow. biggest drug house we had in town sorry oh, wow. you mentioned grants yes ma'am okay is that are those grants added in there with considering you with those no okay they need to be because even though you're it's talking about communication when I was talking about any grant money that you get we still have to and I yeah okay. I, 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 I know what you're talking about there this is through 911 so it wouldn't affect us it would just be our bottom line we wouldn't be getting billed as much gotcha okay That's what sorry okay I thought you were saying we do okay. have those grants that you know that we get every year that we try for unfortunately I don't there's none on the docket right now that are showing that we can say hey council can we put 50,000 in there and spend it if we get there's just nothing there so I hate to throw. Sorry, I thought that's no, what no, you meant. No, no, you're fine. So, okay. I you're talked fine. to Bill Meyer out there at the courthouse the other day, and they've lost over a quarter million dollars from the state. Yeah. And it's just 5000 here, 10000 there, you know, and it's all little nickel, nickel dime stuff, so to speak, yeah, but it's a quarter million up. dollars. Yeah. And we're going to get hit with the same stuff. That's, I don't know what the value is. I have no idea, you know, sure. but it's coming. Sure. You know, and they'll jack you around on sales tax, and not pay you when they're supposed to, yeah. and on and on and on. So let there be right. no mistake. This governor's keeping every dime he can. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You have down here twenty. Where the hell did it go? Ninety-one ninety contractual other twenty thousand. <laughs> uh huh. And what's that? So uh, right. last year, just just to give the council an idea, last year that was area disposal, ACO, which is the storage over on Greenwood. Uh, Blue Cross Blue Shield, CDS, it's our copy machine. Um, it's, so it's, it's contractual, Dick, but it's not, it's not uh, large contractual like our communications. It's, okay. I, I, I hesitate to use the word miscellaneous because I know that's not real clear to everybody, but it's truly, it's the BS contractual things, the copy machine, the trash right. pickup, those kind of things. Mm -hmm. And I have all those if you want to look at what was last Is year. Is the insurance going to be about the same? Roughly? We don't know. Don't um, know. When's it coming? We've got pretty decent increases the past several years, so I would look for it to... I thought after last year things would have calmed down a little bit, but then our water sewer took some pretty decent hits this year, so I don't, I don't know. How much were you last year, 841 or what? Um, where are you looking? No, at? I'm on the police budget. Eight seventy one. Eight seventy one. Last year, wow. yeah. Oh, no, sorry. no. Year to date is eight seventy one. Right. For, I'm sorry. Yeah. For 2018, police. what they spent eight was seven, eight seventy one. Oh, you're asking bottom line. Five. Okay. Yeah. There. Yeah. What he budgeted was nine sixty six fifty. Yeah. yeah. Most of police department, if you look at it, is uh, salary. Yeah. yeah. Which is, I mean, I guess what you would expect. Yeah, that's your 398 last year. <clears throat> um, and Tim, what about, um, I was going to ask on your uniforms, because for a while you were replacing some. I don't see that you have much, so are you kind of Yeah, off so we're with... balanced out. We're okay. back to the way it's supposed to be. Everybody's okay. in proper uniforms. Now all we do is replace two uniforms okay. per year. Okay. So every officer has an allowance of two uniforms per year. Um, there was a time where Josh did boots. I refused to do that. Mm -hmm. um, I, it's just a personal thing. I, I won't bore you guys with it, but they're 250 bucks a pair, and I don't think it's... So they buy their own? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, the other thing I always worry about is training. Yours went down. Was what? You don't need training. 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 Yeah, okay, because, I mean, that's very important with... Both the public protection department. So I'm just curious as to why it went down. So we've done a couple of things. You'll notice on, there's another line item in there where we were part of MTU 10, or nine or ten. We we operate out of both, but we pay our dues to them. Mm -hmm. That training comes. So all that training is part of that membership. Oh, okay. Uh, what we've done in in this last budget year that we just closed is we went to the Jacksonville facility. They have their new shooting facility open. Okay. They offer a class there. 
at very minimum to a month. So okay. between that and the CBT training, which we started two years ago, the computer-based training, all of our stuff that we used to have to go to training for that's yeah. mandatory every year, blood board pathogens, CPR, mm -hmm. that's now all done in-house on the computer. Uh, okay. We've done our <coughs> major trainings, our taser and everything, that all comes, the instructors come, we do it in one night now instead of spread out through six nights. So that's why. Okay. We've so you're still getting the training. Absolutely. But it's just in a different And it's state way. mandated, so it's not a yeah. choice whether we get it. Absolutely. Kind of like teaching. We've got to do every year blood pathogen and yep. CPR. Great. Any other questions on police? I have one just comment that I want to throw out after you guys are done with questions. What was the, um, did I miss what the equipment was? Capital outlay 9115 for 15,000. Uh, what do you anticipate? That's the equipment when we re-equip a squad car, mm. uh, the computer equipment that's at the PD. Okay. Uh, not computer, I'm sorry, the radio equipment. Okay. So that's what that didn't spend. Obviously, we kept that under budget last year, but mm -hmm. we have it in there for just in case. This year is going to be a little bit better for us. Last year, we got hit a little hard because of the canine unit. We mm -hmm. didn't own anything to put in that canine car, and it was crazy expensive. So that we dropped back down with the anticipation that we'll be able to use the lights off of the cars that we're retiring to put on the new cars. Okay. So you told us last time about how many full-time, part-time. Um, can you run through the cars quickly? Sure. Uh, so we currently have four brand new cars, two 17s, two 18s. Mm -hmm. uh, one of those is a canine unit. We have uh, still, we didn't get rid of the, the junkers last year because we kind of set them around town. We've got right. two Impalas mm -hmm. plus the code enforcement Impala. Uh, we have one Chevy Tahoe and one Dodge Charger. This year, if the budget's passed that we get two new vehicles, we'll replace an Impala and the Chevy Tahoe. The only old car, and it's a new car, is the Dodge Charger was bought when Josh was here. It still has low mileage. It's still mm -hmm. an excellent car, and it's not costing us any maintenance issues. Which one is it? The Dodge Charger. So the Impala <laughs> you're going to replace, is that the codes, or it's one of your two Impalas? Yeah, it's one of our two. Okay. So are you going to Explorers now? I'm sorry. What Tahoe is it? The big white one. Okay. Tyler. The the Tyler. The old yeah, the Tyler. Yeah. Tim, are you going with all of the Explorers now? The we hope so. SUVs. This is going to be a challenging year because in 2020, the body style changed. So the 19s went fast. The state bought 460 of them right at the very end and kind of cut everybody out. The 2020s are going to be late because it's a new body style. Plus, we're not in a position to re-equip with cages and stuff like that. So we want to make for sure that our cages are going to transfer over. So if and when we get approval from the board, we'll call Richie and ask him to go on the hunt. And he'll have to find us some because he's out of them. Uh, moral. Pretty <clears throat> moral. Yes, sir. Yeah. Any other questions on police? No, thanks. I'm sorry, oh, Ted. So, Art, there's, uh, what are you looking like on your your people? You know, anybody quitting? Anybody pregnant or what? So, we're currently in a great position. You we can't got, ask that. Well, I you can now. Oh, you can. Oh, you can. Right. They're hired. <laughs> we, uh, we have one out on maternity leave. We're holding her her position, and she'll be back, uh, or at this point says she's coming back. We are down four part-time people, but because we're full-staffed on full-time people, it doesn't affect us much. I will come to the council in the next 30 to 60 days. We have two people, former police officers. Uh, one of them currently works for the Secretary of State. They just changed the rules two weeks ago that you can now have secondary employment. Uh, so. He's come back. He was formerly an officer here. He's applied. Once we get that together and feel comfortable bringing it to the council, we'll ask to to hire those two part-time guys. But again, we don't. Is that built into this budget? Yes, sir. The, Absolutely. The two part-time. Okay. Yes, sir. So, mm -hmm. if no other questions, if I could just throw this out there, I know this council appreciates the opportunity to think things through. If if and when this budget's approved and we, and we get to the point where we can buy two squad cars. I would like the council to consider an unmarked something car. If it's the Ford Explorer, maybe it's a different color. Uh, you guys know how much our drug task force guys work. Uh, they're incredible. Tyler is the head of that, Tyler Griffin. He's in that big 
uh, Chevy Tahoe. It's marked, you can see it from days away. Uh, we had a great opportunity and the feds let us borrow their cars over the, the last week to sit on that house. I, I understand both sides seeing a marked car out in the community, so on and so forth. I truly feel from driving a black unmarked car that almost every citizen knows me. I mean, they, mm -hmm. you know, so I think your citizens will still recognize that that's one of your police officers, but it gives that person that's working the drug, uh, the, the narcotics detail, it gives them a huge advantage when it comes to laying on a house and sneaking up behind people and so on. I'd just like for you to consider you're not going to offend me either way, you know, if you go the opposite way. I can't even tell you what color at this point, but we would like to do something different. You know, something that doesn't stand out like a police car. Same car, same police interceptor package, just a little different color and unmarked I interior agree. lines. What's pink Mary Kay? What's yeah. the, uh, <laughs> Can you put Mary Kay on it legally? <laughs> the, the charger that, that you have now, is it wrapped? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. The charger is. Is it? Yeah. yeah. It was the last no, time I that saw was it. a challenger. Uh, but you're talking about it was a different color and we wrapped it white. It was a challenger, wasn't it? Yeah, that was the challenger that we changed. It's gone. Out. This charger, yeah, yeah it's gone. We sold was that a drug day. seizure vehicle, the challenger? Yes, sir. Yeah, it comes. So yeah. it was wrapped. This mm -hmm. car is a white car that just has oh, our stripes okay. on. Oh, that, yeah, okay. Yeah, you did. I'm sorry. You, you did say details. Charger. How about yeah. confiscating yeah. Okay. a really good looking Mustang over here? On Easy. The Easy. <laughs> <laughs> I will not give up any. And I don't have any drugs to <laughs> compensate for that. No. We have okay. plenty of drugs if you need us to leave something. Let the dog over <laughs> no. Okay. Anyway, that's all I had. Just if you would, rather than us coming to you in a month or two months or three months and saying, hey, can we do this? I just thought it'd be nice to allow you guys some extra time to think about it. I completely agree with that. Yeah. Silver gray metallic is a generic. It is. As long as I know to, which ones they are. You need to bust somebody that yeah, has no payments more. left on that vehicle and there's a vehicle. That's exactly right. <laughs> An old 89 Ford half ton that nobody would think that. <laughs> that's what they do. I mean, you know, if you make a drug bust and they don't have any payments left on that, you can see. We got to get out of here. So SIG is who we brought in, the federal agents that we brought in to assist. Uh, I, when I was chief in Ashland, I had an officer in SIG, and there's so much money that it makes you sick. I mean, these guys, we were in the nicest of vehicles. Of course, they're not marked. There's nothing on them. But we were sitting two doors uh, north of the target address in one of the nicest cars you could ever imagine, and they knew that it was us. Mm -hmm. so, but they have... I mean, they snap their fingers and go out and buy a new car. There's just hundreds of thousands of dollars in the SIG account. So you really think you could put that to use? I think it would be very beneficial. So where would you park it? Would you park it by the police department? So it's assigned to an officer. It's his so take-home. So it goes home. home. Yeah, okay. it's his take-home car. Because that would defeat the purpose if you park it out there when they're not using yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> You'd be yeah, like, oh, would. that's a police car. Yeah. Mm -hmm. People are going to tell because I drive to... Griggsville and it's Pittsfield State Police. Now I know the unmarked cars. It took me a while because yeah, there's different know. body types, and then there's two unmarked, but I got them. <laughs> but you know, I know them now. They said tricky them District 20. Yeah, they do. Yeah, District 20 guys. Yeah, they do. But Same I think one, it's a great idea. Like yeah. There is. That's so a how, great idea. How often would you rotate those unmarked cars out? I. Todd, I think they still have to stay on the three-year rotation. Okay. I, I think in order to get that value that, you know, that we've talked about all this time, really? I think it mm -hmm. still has to stay. So you could always change the mm -hmm. color of it. Absolutely. Can okay. you get them re-wrapped, get some ch change yeah. the color that way? To you can, but it's not cost-effective. Oh. If, if we were to pay to have them wrapped, it would actually Fully do away with oh, the resale with the, with the, with the value. Yeah. 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 Pretty freaking cool. All right, very good. Okay. Any other questions? No. Move on. All right, that's it then. That is every department of general funds. So that's this first packet. Are there any other questions, concerns, anything about any department of general then for this time budget before we move forward? I think Harry has a few things to share with you maybe. Okay. But, I mean, we don't. Okay, so, okay, so everything with the administration, parks, street, everything's staying the same. Everybody's good with what we've gone over the past couple. Okay. Moving the only on. one we got left is streets, right? 
Crawl? No, no water and sewer. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm water. sorry. Water and sewer. No, we've still got water, sewer, motor fuel, tiff. tourism, and tech. Yeah. Okay. But that's all of the departments and in general. And your tourism so. tip because you have to get out of here. So. Oh, well, thank you. Um, tiff, do we mind switching to tiff real quick? Um, I just got to find where I put I got two things. Um, there we go. And I can call in too. You know what I mean? Like if you win a No, we're not doing that. Let's um, go Okay. These are, um, I gave everybody this, mm -hmm. yeah, like supplies. Yeah. Um, we actually got new ones from her. Okay. So this is the one now. Um, so toss out any that say 510 and 513. This says 530 at the top. And this is the good one. So 510, 513, I don't need. Uh, right. Oops, sorry, Tom. I got it. Um, yeah. You guys need more? Got mine. Got it? This shows it. the sleep in reimbursement as well as all the others that we have. Um, it shows the 40% surplus going to the taxing districts and our Prairie State Bank note. Um, what I'm asking you to do, um, if you want to, um, I'd already spoken with Dick about this, but if we pay an extra $30,000 a year on our loan that we have, it takes about two years off our loan. It leaves us seven years instead of nine. Um, I would like to do that. I'd like to budget for that with your blessing. Um, obviously, well, you've got roughly 31000 more coming in that you didn't expect and the village share of the surplus funds. Well, no, we expected that because okay, that's what we were talking about moving to general. Though. All right, but that's what I'm saying. Or you could use that to pay the... Could, if that's know. what you want to do right. instead mm -hmm. of moving to general. You absolutely could do that if you want to. To pay the extra. Mm -hmm. To try to pay the loan off early. Um, it's going to save you. Hell, I don't know what. But you were wanting us to put, that in put it in general. <laughs> the surplus, yeah, I'm talking, but I mean, if you would use that to pay that, I don't like debt. Um, I would rather pay off the loan. And I, I know that we're looking at incurring more debt possibly, you know, tiff money. absolutely. Yeah. And um, I just think, you know, our books still look good, but um, I know that there's other stuff we need to do and that we're going to want to do. And, mm -hmm. um, I'm a big fan of making your money work for you, you know? So yeah, I, that's that's mm -hmm. my suggestion. Okay, I'm gonna bring up something. Sure. I didn't realize this till I really got into this this last time and all that, but Bartlett, we we pay them two hundred and five thousand. Mm -hmm. We take in a hundred and sixty some odd thousand. Okay. This was an absolute screw up as far as I'm concerned with our past administration because when they said they're going to give 40% of our TIF money. They being Walter and and what's her name? Danny. Danny. Mm -hmm. They took that 40% out of everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know. It comes and, off the and top. In essence, we 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 shell out about I don't know off the top of my head, fifty, sixty thousand dollars more to Bartlett than we we take in. Well, that's not good. And that's stupid. I agree. That's where a lot of my concerns came from. Is okay, that, that, so know. what I did the other day was, I know these people from Bartlett pretty well. I called the, the attorney and I said, look, we got you another 11 years, you know, and I'm willing to give you the 100% that we take in, in essence, and, and we're not, not make anything off Bartlett, but it's going to save us fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000, probably. Mm -hmm. Everybody follow Absolutely. me here? Mm -hmm. Because it is 40%. And... He kind of hemmed and hawed there because he's got us right by the short ones, guys. I'm telling you. You got the agreement, absolutely. Yeah. The short ones. And he, we it's went. A technical term. And we went on around here a little bit, you know. And I said, I'll tell you what. Here's what we can do. You can sue us because when you come back at us with this other fifty thousand dollars, you're going to pay taxes on us, now. You know. I said that's our bargaining chip here. Mm -hmm. And he said, well, Let me get back to you. So, and, and they're pretty decent people to deal with. They really are. Mm -hmm. But if we can break even on this thing, that's the best that's we're ever going to do. do. Mm -hmm. The best we're ever going to do on this. So that's, mm -hmm. it's in the works. That's all I good. can say That's right good. Now. Thank God. The surplus, it's a double-edged sword. You know, you got more time out of it, but you give up 40% of your money, too. Mm -hmm. I mean, of the total. Absolutely. Of the total. Which How I did didn't, you figure this yeah, out? Yeah, I knew that. Huh? Because I looked there at Bartlett, but all that stuff laying over there, I give you guys. Yeah. I looked on Bartlett, and it was like 165000 roughly, and we're paying 205000 of Bartlett. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. because the difference being the 205 minus 40 percent that's mm -hmm. what it is dick you remember when we went out on that drive that yeah. day and i told you that every fund had gone over last year and you said well how did they with this and that's how it's because of that 40 percent yeah that's how we're except loves they didn't bother loves Loves was, was oh, because loves loves was exempt from the. Loves that's was why. Scooted on through. Yes. And nobody ever said anything yes. about it. Yes. So. Because they were exempt from that. Right. Um, when that extension went in, they. But again, anybody that built something out here, yeah. we're going to get money from them. You know, so we're encouraging the building. So whatever they want to do, mm -hmm. you know, and and it's not going to affect whatever the hell is the name of sleep in out mm -hmm. here a bit because it's already figured out. We're still going to make 14000 yeah. off sleep in. Mm -hmm. you know. um, but if we can get rid of this fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000 of Bartlett yeah, that we're taking out of our pocket, mm -hmm. it'll make a hell of a difference. Well, thank that, you. I'm glad you found that. That'll be nice if they so, all If they do it. If yeah. they want to play ball, yeah, yeah. And if they don't, then they're going to sue us. Because okay. I'm going to say we don't pay. We're going to pay them 100%, and I think we'd win in court. But Bartlett doesn't want anything Let's like hope this. We Bartlett do doesn't want any yeah. lawsuits, anything going on. It's Let's still, hope you you can work your magic. It's right? still a it's still a old family store, you know. That would be sure if you could. Anyway, that's that's the only thing I want to say. Well, I didn't want to hear that, but I'm well, glad you, you heard told it. us. <laughs> yeah. um, the other thing with this TIF money. Um, so when, when we're looking at budget real quick, am I good to put that 30000 in there? Our next payment isn't due until December. Draw on it. Hey, give me the set. Yay or nay. I, I, well, I, you're going to have four hundred twenty eight thousand dollars in there. If everybody wants to do it. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
maybe second week in July, that'll be done. That don't mean they won't go back out there and do it. It's just we got to be decent with them too because they're giving us the same price. They don't want to mobilize sure. equipment somewhere else and then have to bring it back to this area back there again. Well, the only reason I ask that because obviously that gives enough time to figure out how you're going. Yeah, you don't have to place. And we may want to entertain the thought of, of financing this. Just just the thought, you know, right now. But yeah, but now you've got that finance and you got that finance. I wouldn't do it I, personally. We have we have cash. It, it's to there. We, I, okay. I wouldn't do it. One way or another, we do All right. finance it. By the you time you have to pay lawyer yeah. fees and if we're, yeah. you know well, what I mean, I mean like bond and all that stuff. And yeah. And yeah. If we've no. got it. Yeah. I mean, I I get what you're saying. Yeah. But, um, okay, so then we'll do that then. Any other questions on TIF? Or is that? Everything no, do. just I want to restate that I feel we need an overall plan for TIF. Absolutely. That would be about the hundredth time yeah. I've said that. Absolutely. Can someone make note of that, please? <laughs> Absolutely. And tourism. But I'll tell you what, honestly, with everything that happened with Sleep In, mm -hmm. in the end, like, I appreciate that because I understand now where you're coming from. You know what I mean? Like, after, like, your idea of it versus, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, how I how we've done it like when I first came here. So yeah. I get it now and what your plan is. And every that, two years so, it may di be different because we might have a different board in two Absolutely. years or at least three of us. Yeah. <clears throat> at least you got something to work from. Here yes. was their plan. What do you want to do? Now right. we got nothing. Right. Sure you don't want yeah. to bring up the sewer again? <laughs> do what? <laughs> <laughs> Zip yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, yeah. So, okay. Um, need, your, need your hideaway. <laughs> do you guys want to hit tourism? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Now, keep in mind, this budget is basically BS that I've presented to you. Yeah. This one was... Can you quote Sorry. that, Anthony? Yeah. This is a BS budget. <laughs> well, no, what... Really yeah, because what well, it she's is... She's so professional. Is, this, was a, this was a budget <laughs> yeah. based clearly only on numbers and breaking even. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, I was just pulling numbers, you know, to make them match to break even with anticipated revenues. Okay. Um, obviously, like our contractual other for 9190, the ads... We're going to spend already more than that just on that Morton billboard, so that's going to have to be increased. But I, I leave that for you to go in knowing, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, that wherever you increase and everything. What are you now. taking in at roughly a month now, right now? Uh, well, it's not. Cause you said our balance is like half a million dollars over half a million. It's better, tourism. yeah. Um, if it's an average dick, it's fourteen five. Of the four motels. Yeah, it, it varies I, I big know, time. I know, because yeah. I used yeah. to do that. Yeah, but. well, yeah, you know, but yeah. Um, but yeah, that's. But we need something to check those guys too, because yeah. I, I think that's. Well, and that's what we talked about. We need to redo, just my opinion, and I was in on creating that tourism grant out. We need to update it because that was just a guess mm -hmm. from our attorney then. Now we know what we want, so I feel like we should streamline that. Sure. Make it easier, user friendly. You know, and maybe and set limits, stipulations. I agree. Um, yeah. One thing with our hotels too, for our future. ordinance does say yeah. that we, we have, have the, the right, right to ask yeah. for their records. Yes. Um, at this point, I don't recommend going there just yet because no. it would cost us to do it. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. um, but I'm with you that keep an eye on it. You know what I mean? And like track it ourselves and see all that stuff definitely um, I, I went out there with the whole, those brochures I brought in from the uh -huh. thing, and I went out to all four motels and took the brochures from the Morgan County Fair and took some flyers and stuff out there and Holiday Inn was totally they had no idea that they were eligible for 40% back oh really yeah so they're going to probably hit you up sooner or later oh, that's good. the other three <laughs> They know to the penny, sure. you know, where they're at, so. Sure. But again, Comfort Inn is, was doing a lot better, I think. I mean, they were full the other night, and, Good. you know, so. Good. Let's hope they so. were, yeah, I noticed that the, all of them were right. jam-packed. One thing, um, <clears throat> not budget-related, but since we're touching on tourism, that I do, I would like the board to look at, at some point this year, would be our tourism ordinance. Um, related to the collection of taxes. Um, I realized looking back at it because we had a hotel that was not keeping uh -huh. up with taxes. Uh -huh. So I made sure I was looking at ordinance, you know, to, to all that stuff. Um, and the form that was being used before I came um, and the practice that had been being used doesn't match our ordinance. 
So I wasn't enforcing it because even though it's on the form, we have to go by ordinance, you know. Yeah. So, um, but I would like our ordinance to match the form because the form makes more sense. To be able to assess penalties and all that. Um, so that's something that I would like you to look at at some but point. But these things you need to write down and remind us. You yeah. Know, it, it escapes through the cracks. Sure, but so, that's stuff that, yeah. Um, so, right. Tiffany, this destination site, uh -huh. the 9194, that's the park. And you said, while well, looking at what we spent last year, did we spend $136,000? Yes. And there's already, just in last month's payables, another 15 went through. So, we're $150,000 into that park. Okay, that's yeah. Right. That's what we're yeah, That's and, but we're not we're done, done. No. right? Right. We're not done. Okay. Yeah, and my frustration is we have no committee to head that, but that's another point. Okay, so you've got fifty thousand in there. Is that reasonable for what's left? Well, that's and, and remember, it's thirty-five now because fifteen of it's already gone out. So. So it's what? Oh, so we're thirty-five. Is that? I think the only thing left is to put a rock out. A rock, and then but so you got the equipment way. though itself hasn't had so anything happen. We got to get a sign, right? which mm -hmm. I mean, there's I no know. sign. And. And where all the trees were cut down, the pines, mm -hmm. that needs to be mulched. And all around the fence. Mm -hmm. And the equipment mm -hmm. still hasn't been touched, right? Right, we haven't. Yeah, but the, the, uh, the repairs, if you're talking repairs, that comes out of the park budget. That's not. That's oh, for like budget. the water stuff and the swings and all that? Yeah. That just, oh, okay. Yeah, that comes, I thought I've that was coming in, from that. Okay. I've got money in the gotcha. for repairs, so that's my problem. But so we're down. To you can even get that 35 real quick. Yeah. With mm -hmm. a sign and rock and mulch and mm -hmm. not for the center mulch that's done with the rubber but i'm talking about outlying areas uh -huh. and if you want to do anything with this part moving forward you know where you've done that last year we'll need to increase that so. right uh -huh. um i mean i've said before and i think dick has too i don't want to do anything with this park till that park's done i mean that's the way i feel how it, you guys feel it makes more sense yeah. i mean guys we go over here and you can dump hundred thousand on this i know you got nothing. Mm -hmm. Next year, Todd had some really good suggestions back way back when what to do with that property over there. Good, yeah, I think that takes a lot of time. We should talk about that. Contractual that. events that was our celebration. Mm -hmm. so, would be mix the celebration, but I don't know how the rest of you feel because then you can move that 15 somewhere else. What do you guys think? You know, Prairie Land keeps hammering us about wanting to come over there and do something. And, and yeah, could we do it on Prairie Lands? Well, we were going to last year, but they were double booked. That's what happened. Yeah, that's right. We already had our stuff out in the media. This is when we're doing it. And they already had something scheduled, so that's why we didn't do it, or it would have been there. We have nobody to he head it up this year. Mm -hmm. We have no one to head it up, and I am done with that stuff. But we do even just like, like just a, I don't know. We said still John's have doing it. Unless the little miss thing or something, or just totally it. not do anything. See, and that's or? the part that I hate because the little miss is, uh -huh. my daughter was a little miss, and she's 23 now, yeah. but she's still like, I was a little miss on sure. Well, it's yeah. neat for them and to go to the parades then. King and Queen now that have been on So do we just do the pageant, or? We kept it very under. Your wife worked her tail off and got a bunch of donations, and um, they, but it's possible, she showed, you know, to really. And would it be realistic to just do the pageant and not a celebration? Hey, th this is just an idea, but if we have the pageant at the same time Prairie Land yeah. has the open the thing. Why not? Oh my gosh, that's a great and idea. They have, have a gazebo. Right there, the pageant, have it on a Sunday or oh. Saturday, whatever they are. I like when that. Is that? When is that? When is it? In have September. Have the pageant for the little kids. Oh, at the That's an at awesome awesome. 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 Yeah. 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 They can, same time. They can do it right there on the gazebo. Take deal. that home yeah. to her. So <laughs> that's the dates. <laughs> he signed her up last year. Run that buyer. Well, she didn't know she was doing oh. it. Oh, so she may not <laughs> want to do it. But that would tie it in there very well. I like that. Oh, yeah. That's a great idea. Awesome. So that's should we leave that in there? Well, or you How could put it. We have 15,000. You could put it down. Weren't we way over that last year? No, we. What I think we were right cost. under fifteen thousand for the. Total. We don't need that much to happen. Yeah, well, and that's one of those things. Like you talked earlier about rain, where I mean, it really oh, was a. Mm -hmm. It rained and yes, it was it just a total buzz. I mean, what, what, when nobody, was it last year? The celebration. October. October. Yeah, it was like, October because it was. Way uh, 
weekend, Tom, for the Prairie Land to maybe tie in, in, in conjunction with Prairie Land. And I think that's a smart. It'd be a better turnout yeah. for Prairie Land. It'd be a better turnout mm -hmm. yeah. for Mr. Little Miss. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <coughs> and give them something. To Absolutely. Do. Mm -hmm. so. And good I, idea, Dick. I know, stupid as you think. I <laughs> All right, <laughs> sometimes he has good ideas. Council, get, do you mind if I can duck out? Does anybody need no. to? No, whatever. You guys have already done whatever. it. Yeah. <laughs> I got a few months. I steal somebody for audio. You think I'm going to eat that when it came from you? Are you crazy? So, do you want to move that hey, event to like 5,000? I'd say 5,000. Okay. I know you can do a pageant for less than that, but then that'll be so maybe five. Okay. And I do want to throw something. We didn't do it last year, but John and Dick and I were still working on a welcome sign for the village. That was around between 50 and 75,000. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't want to say what's in the works, but there is something kind of in the works. I'd like to see, I don't know if it would be this year, but um, I'd like to have it in the budget in case something comes to fruition this year. And okay, no problem. then I'll fill you guys in when we, cause I don't want to officially say anything till we, I like to present things when they're complete. You talking about a billboard? Mm -hmm. I do. No, more. no, uh, oh, no welcome this sign. Is a like a sign. LED South Jacksonville welcome sign. Out here? I'm not going to tell you. Oh, really? <laughs> I want to get it out of you one way or the other. Not I'll, tonight, uh, Tom. Not tonight. <laughs> and Those are expensive. You think though. 50 or 75? Oof. I'm trying to think. 75 is what you. What we're I think we were. I know we're at 90 to start with. Time no, I'm, what I'm saying oh, is, time and temperature. Yes, time and temperature. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yep. I just, I don't. I mean, depends on what size. I don't even think 75 would probably touches. Yeah, we we ran. I'll tell you what. We had I, I think that was bids. close. And that's what I'm going to do is is update those bids. And I have a land location. I need to make sure of that, and then I'll share it with you. We we had some renderings and prices so yeah oh you did oh yeah so what what were they anywhere from 50 to 75 yeah oh, okay. and they're half different price. sizes and different designs and see i thought we well, put 90 but maybe that was land cost too because we weren't sure of land that's because what it was land. but i can tell you right now that the land will be good okay. i just need a sign gotcha Hey. Now don't I and have your interest? She, yeah, she's it's in saying, John's yard. And she's not saying <laughs> any more. <laughs> yeah. Where, where are you talking about? Please? I'm not telling you yet till it's secret. Hello? It's secret till I want to have it all ready and then make a presentation to you guys. It's going to be in my front yard. Yeah, it's in my front yard. Hey, I live right on South Main. I'll put that bitch right in my front Okay, so <laughs> are, tell Don that are you guys all right with 75? That's right. That's right facing his house in that for the sign but i'm not That's saying we're going to use it this year but it's got to be if well, you do it's got to be there it in there and that way you got it it okay. shows it, precedence it, and all that. I, it doesn't matter if you don't use it it doesn't hurt to put it in there okay i think stuff i mean my two cents i think stuff like that is a better use of tourism fund than what yeah you could potentially you know what i mean like you have mm -hmm. it then i think it's right you know, by the like ice kiosk you can see what you've done see. Right? <laughs> that's where it was that's going. where we that's wanted it and we couldn't was going get it and we had the property we couldn't and then get it. backed out you guys that? just think Where's about the ice, the ice machine where down the ice was that's, that's the land we were going. at michigan who owns that the guy that owns the ice machine no 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 he's the insurance guy next to mcdonald's phil no phil wigan wigan because he owned, he bought the apartments there too. Right? He was going oh, to see, sell. I thought it was Moss. He was going to sell it to us, and then he got a better deal. I think that this, unfortunately for us, at the same time we were trying to purchase it for five thousand, and we had it bought, all of it signing. I think they contacted him about leasing it for that. Well, why would you take five for it if you could get five a year on lease? And for how for however many exactly. Years. So yeah. we can't blame him. It was yeah. just it's a unfortunate business. for us the time frame was not good for us it is what it is right well, the contractual other 9190 is for the other ads and mm -hmm. miscellaneous right i'd like to move that up to twenty thousand. um the okay. billboard alone on morton's going to be about 6, oh yeah 600 just for rent and then mm -hmm. any billboard cost out there and up here of course so how so much i'm thinking around 20 20 okay. should be a safe number to okay you know um yeah we want to be able to pay for that yes and then donations that 35 obviously has already been so spent. we're already at what i think we're at 37 535 you said prior to prairie land and if we give them 25 right. what's 35 or 37 and 25 12 32, 62 535 
So we're at 62 already. 62 yep. five, I'm at 63. 63. Uh -huh. So I'm trying to think of how many other. Oh, um, Tom Winter, you know Tom. who called me? Tom Winter called me, and I haven't called him back. How much does that usually cost? I don't remember what Tom asked. 2500 Yeah. I thought it was 1500 Well, it was a grand, and it just seems like it's yeah. going. So 75 is 10 more <laughs> reasonable. Who else would ask us? Tom Winter, and then I'm drawing a blank on who else would ask. You didn't. No, never mind. I was going to say 8 bait, but that was just for the sign. That's yeah. all they do. Um, I mean, we could do maybe 80, give us a little cushion, but besides Tom Winter, that reminds me, I do have to call him back. You know, it gives you room then, because honestly, but now that, you, I mean, Morgan you County, you know what I mean? Like, and the races, more people might come out of the woodwork with ideas for you. I mean, up here, they're going to come equipment. out of the woodwork, you know. Yeah. Okay, but it's, but it's still tourism. I mean, yeah. you still oh, choose. I'm sorry. Yeah. Good that, we're on the tourism not, budget. Yes. I'm sorry. I'm yes. sorry. Yeah. We're doing a lot of items. Yes. Yeah. We're talking about the grants. Right, right. Sorry. Tiffany, back to that 75 for the sign. Uh -huh. You put that, or I had it under 9115, mm -hmm. the capital yep. outlay equipment. Okay. Yep. So what do you think's good for grant apps? If we're at 63, 64, whatever? It's going to be up to you, obviously. I mean, I, how much you want to donate every year. I say you, know, you cap it at 63, and you say we're done for the year. Well, I, I think it depends we need on top winner, like, though. Like, like but you said the other day, on the donation. This is where we're going. Mm -hmm. to That's, the thing out there. That's why oh, we so need a plan. But it also depends on what you're looking at. Like the red back is no like the garage. Right. I don't like the flying by the seat. Well, well, you're not just giving it out of the kindness of heart. You're giving it in hopes of drawing revenue. You know what I mean? Yep. We didn't keep track. Right. You want to handcuff it or not? That's up to you. Or do you want to have option to? I don't have a vote in this, but I don't see a reason not to handcuff it and say when Todd comes and says, can we do this? Say, sorry, we fulfilled our budget for the year. Because I can't It's not a given to everybody. You may have one hell of a deal come at you. It's not a given. Do what? You may have one hell of a deal come at you. Then you can reappropriate and you could do something. If it was that good of a deal, you had to. Mm -hmm. but That's why like we need a plan. But, but, at right. some, but at some point, I don't, I don't know. It's a hell well, of a convenient way of saying we're done. Exactly. Yeah. That's what I'm getting yeah. at. And, and then, what, well, you just said. Uh, you could tell them that and not even have to put, you yeah. know. You, right. could, you could cut the line item there and go ahead and appropriate more um, so that if something comes along that you just absolutely. That's what I'm saying. You, you can add, tell them, say, hey, we're cat. You but know. you could, you know what I mean? Like you could cap out we'll your budget no. and then still have it in your appropriations <laughs> if you want. That might be a better way to do it. I don't think we've done that yet. Mm -hmm. I said no. You want to just put it like 65000 then? Because what do you think Tom Winter's going to ask for? I just put seventy five, and you know you're covered. So. Yeah, that's true. Seventy five. Because, I mean, besides Tom, I mean, I'm drawing a blank right now. I am too. I'm there's, there's nothing else, else coming out. I can't out say that. Like the little stuff here and there. Well, and the, like, the we celebration grand ask. Really 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 yeah. so. uh, Tom Winter's asked for how much yeah. for the boat raises? $1,015, 2000 Oh, yeah. okay. Like that. okay. Um, I guess I heard that wrong. Anything else under tourism that, so 75. that you think might be in the works or that you want done this year or anything? What we're, uh, I do want to say while we're on the sign deal real quick, mm -hmm. um, Rick's had the sign out there on, <laughs> okay. on more. Got too many of them going oh. out. Oh, that's sign. Find, I should find out something board? tomorrow night from Rick. Okay. I gave him the deal. He's supposed to be, okay. you know. Well, you had a, you had a picture of, of a proposed sign, didn't you? No, that was him. Him. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, oh, but I, I thought you emailed me a sign too, a picture of the billboard that you liked. Yeah, I designed it myself. Oh. So maybe. When they're all oh, together, no, we could all look at all of them at once. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I just wanted to let you know that that's in process. Okay, good. And hopefully tomorrow night I can have an answer on that. Tiffany, the only other thing I'm thinking is legal under here. If you said we need to re-adjust um, or look again at the ordinance, do because we can charge good the call attorney fees to tourism. Good call. So what do you think? Yeah, yeah, at least a couple for yeah. her, any the attorney fees. Oh, and also with the sign, we probably we'll would need, need a legal document. Gonna put up five thousand. Yeah, with the transfer cover. of title or is that good? Five grand? I don't know what they charge. I don't either, but that'll. That's you got plenty in there. So, so I'm anticipating the sign and ordinance work. Okay, okay so five thousand. Because we do not want to pay for the attorney it's out of general fund no. if we don't have to. Good call. Okay. All right. So then, 
Um, my goal for this, um, what I'm hoping to do is tomorrow to get all these corrections made in the budget and give you clean copies. Um, do you want them tomorrow? Or do you, I, I, I hope I can get them tomorrow, but it may be Thursday. If you, um, if you, so you know what you're voting on oh, you Thursday. Tomorrow night or? You want them by midnight. And I'll see if I can't get Tim <laughs> yeah. to get them delivered. I want them delivered by then. Right. Okay. By the police. But that'll That's be right. Ready. I'm Go knocking on. on the doors and the door goes back. Yeah, no kidding. That's when I woke up. My 19 year old dog screaming and crying. Then. On yours, then, will you just take yeah, notes of anything that needs oh, changed? Yeah. So yeah. I can make corrections I'll, I'll, tomorrow. Yeah. And, and I'll get it to you. Is that? Because you got to get it. And I'll text you a few things just but follow up with Harry. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. okay. Because you'll have to make maybe Something some adjustments. Okay. And he knows so the adjustments. And I believe, but I will double check with you. Okay. I know. What's that? Street and water. Yeah. No, water, water source. Water source. Water source. I keep saying street. And MFT, water. that's it, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. That's it. I'll make any notes you need to change. All right. Uh, if there's yeah, any other good, questions on the general or any of that, no, I think we'll go and before I get everything finished. And, uh, Whenever you make your updates and you're like going to give them to everybody, uh -huh. feel free to email it to me. And oh, okay. Not send somebody to my house. Can I do it with everybody? Yeah, email Is me. that good? Yeah, yeah email it. Email before. Oh, sure that's right. Okay. I've got a, I've got a 19 month old I'd rather not have woke up at 10 o'clock by the door. I'd be well, fine. Before there was a couple of neighbors. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. They, she, they I see the police that, at the great. door. I feel like I need to take off running. <laughs> okay. I was at work at that time. I was hoping it was my wife's mistress. <laughs> <laughs> the neighbor always calls me, What's cops doing over your house? Yeah. 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 All right, well, I'll get that done then tomorrow. And um, when we go to talk about appropriations, I'm going to throw this in here real quick so you can start thinking about it. Okay. Um, the previous past three years, I guess, um, we've appropriated a higher percentage more than we've budgeted to kind of keep that in there. Mm -hmm. Last year, we went over MFT because of the whole calendar year thing. This past year, we're looking at the same thing with water sewer. Um, I say we look at about a 5% increase, increase in appropriations okay. versus budget. Um, think about it, though, and let me know what you want me to do because I'll have to have that ready for you to vote on that July. Also run the figures on if we have a $5 per household or per customer increase on the water. Okay. Because that's what that guy suggested. Just the water tower. Mm -hmm. Jamie. Well, yeah. not the water tower, just the, we're losing about we're, five bucks a day. We're under, right? Yeah. Well, I can tell you that we're, right now. We okay. need to do that for we're, soon. We're, we're 60 is what he come up with. Four dollars and sixty cents. Right? Yeah, roughly so fifteen hundred, right? Five dollars. Yeah, so it's seventy-five hundred a month. Ninety grand a year. I thought he was how about ninety? That to kind 90. of help. Yes, yeah, so we did build the water tower. It will, it will, it yeah. will, but it's confusing. Water and sewer made between one hundred and fifty and two hundred thousand last year, but if you break it down, water lost money. But water sewer bundled together, so it was profitable. So to make both of them profitable, not just one supplement and the other, water rates need to go up. And I, what my thought was, we <laughs> we're going to get killed on this, mm -hmm. but but just hit them all five bucks, and then six months, eight months from now, hit mm -hmm. another five I bucks so for the too. water tower. I do too, because I think we're five below now, right? We right. guys, I. Told the last two administrations that water rates need to go up, and nobody wanted to listen. Nobody wanted to be the one to have to do it. Oh, I think. And it's been 05 since the rates went up, and that's why I had this rate study done, and it mm -hmm. showed what I thought it was going to show. We're way under where it should be. I will say I would like if we could do this, and it'd be better, I think, for some of our folks in town um, if we could get those meters finished and get our accounts payable caught up right. before we do that increase right yes you're mm -hmm. absolutely correct you know yeah. to get we're, that we're really close to being able to button that up okay good we're down to that's pit, awesome we're down to pit meters on the tranny line which were less than half left mm -hmm. and down to like six at labor drive which are the pain and the butt ones to do but we're working on it so and there's just a handful of houses in town ones we can't get in or there's issues. Send them a bill for a hundred bucks and I guarantee they'll well, be there knocking on our doors. <laughs> we, we've got a letter that says if you don't buy this date, we're going to shut your water off. That okay. forces them to. But, but the ones we're down to, it's not even that. There's issues more than that. So we're trying to work through them. So, but to your point, we're close to being able to. So be what did you say, 9,500 or something? 90,000 a year. 90,000 a year, okay. Yeah. 
So. Um, but but I, I think yeah, I, you know, I, but we need to get that caught up first because then right you have something to show for what you're increasing yeah, yeah. I mean, well and our accounts are payable right where they should be and mm -hmm. um, then we can look at yep. doing some of that stuff so. and we're gonna blame him on Tom Jordan because he takes him four years to get elected to again so he's <laughs> <laughs> call it Tom Jordan water tower. Are we about to adjourn? Tip, well, that's one. Um, no, we still, we check with Barry on that. We still have water. That, go okay. That will be Perfect. adjusted, but check with Harry. Her okay. I, just because he yeah, left, I wanted to make sure. Thank you. Okay. Yep. I don't want you to send him out. Good call. Good call. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. He's, Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Um, Her son can clearly say I mean, so. She's over She's over exaggerating. Call me. He's if, five now, right? Four. He's only He's four. four. Yeah. See, four yeah. is old enough to be alone, yeah. isn't it? I would never leave my career. I should have been a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. And this is mine. I'll get it tomorrow morning. All right. She'd like to stick it. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Feel free to call or text if anything comes up. Okay. okay. Yep. okay. Yep. He's an absolute clown. Really? She really doesn't mean that. No. <laughs> Okay, which one are you going to do first, big dog? Uh, water. I got it up right there. So, right. there again, guys, um, I, this late, and I don't know if you want me to go item by item. I will start out by saying this year's budget, I've got a 553, 408. Last year was 619. I'm 66,000 under what I was last year. Um, so, any questions you have, you ask me. What, any big changes? No, not really. Um, you mean for being less? Yeah. Oh, um, well, a couple things. I mean, yeah, what less, less money in her this year for water meters because, like I just said, we're almost completely done. That's Great. The, that's the biggie. And then I've just I've chopped every line item that I can to try to, you know. Because we were at. No, let me, not to interrupt you. No, go ahead. Let, let go me ahead. say this. Yeah. Yes, this year is the first year ever I have overexpended what my budget was. Two reasons. Number one, um, I have over $40,000 paid out for the lift station fire that has not been reimbursed by insurance yet. So that was 40000 that was not okay. budgeted to go out. And then if you guys remember, the, I'm not the older the past let me so i don't get in trouble here mm -hmm. not excluding the new board members the other you guys will remember that we had the um down at the water plant it has got a um, dehumidifying system for heat and air and it went out mm -hmm. and down there if you don't have dehumidifying you are in trouble because everything drips off that 55 degree water coming mm -hmm. through that was thirty thousand dollars we had no choice. It wasn't budgeted for. So there's 70000 that threw me over that wasn't budgeted for. Now, 40 of that's coming back before too long through the insurance company, but it affected last year's budget. Okay. So having said that, I didn't want you looking at it and saying, well, yeah, but that wasn't enough last year. Well, it was, and we had a couple pumps that went out that also weren't budgeted for. Yeah. That was almost another $60,000 worth of lift station pump. Mm -hmm. So between the two... You're looking at, what did I say, 47, 110,000 dollars. Should have insulated all that and won't compensate. So what's the, <laughs> on the agenda for a new truck? Are you sorry? I've got, I've got, go ahead. I've got one, one truck in, um, in. Okay. And then, um, of course, two to sell. So that's 60,000 dollars in two trucks. But I'll probably have, I'm just guessing here, mine's a 15 with 30 some thousand miles on it. It's going to bring 15 to 18,000 miles. It's got, because we bought that on a deal, that's got electric windows, got everything. Yeah. And then the older one is a 10. It's not going to bring but three grand. But you're, you're going to have roughly between the two, probably $20,000. So you're not going to sell the new truck? I you you got to keep it a year. It's not a year old yet. Oh, that that will right, rotate okay. out next year, and then the following year, these two will rotate out, and then we'll be on the rotation. Okay. okay. That was going to be my so question. So this will be our last initial purchase of new vehicles, <coughs> okay. because after that, as we sell, buy, sell, buy, we should break even or even bank a little bit. Okay. So this will be the last on that. But but we still, like I said, have around 20 coming in on the sale of the other two. 
So that 60 goes to 40. So you just divided them one uh, in each department? Right, okay. right. Yep. So what's the building? Well, remember last year I had 75000 in there for the new mm -hmm. building down there. Mm -hmm. Well, it didn't get done in that budget year, so I subtracted okay. what hadn't been spent out to seventy five, okay. and put the remainder of that on for this year to okay. be able to finish it up. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. No more money than we were going to spend. It's yep. just what was left okay. got <clears throat> moved over. Mm -hmm. You said the dehumidifier, all that. That that was under the contact, contractual other those funds from yes. last year. Yeah. yeah. That was also built into your heating system down there, right? Is that what you told me? Right. It's a it's it's got electric heat unit in the ductwork, mm -hmm. and then the the air condition is ran mm -hmm. off of. It's got a coil and compressor, but it's Jason understands because I mean that's his line of business. Mm -hmm. But it it's a dehumid. <laughs> it's not actually an air condition. It's a dehumidifying, which right. also controls your humidity, mm -hmm. so that is your air. Right. But well, they, but, saying, but they are expensive units. It's not yeah. like an air conditioning unit at your house. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I just meant like it's got the heat in there too. So he, even oh. if he did in insulate some pipes, it's it still free. Yeah. Mm. Right. He just meant he. No. What he was talking about was for the condensation. See, groundwater year no. round is I, I 50, fifty-two degrees. Right? I fifty-five, it 55 and yeah. it comes through the plant. And if you're not doing that, it sweats. Oh, I, I understand how that works. Mm -hmm. I somehow fell into managing the geothermal MR. Got, gotcha. So. Yeah. But yes, that's the all one unit, all day. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. But if you insulate it, it will not freeze. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Hmm. I'm a twenty year vet. I can tell no, you. No, I I believe you. It's new it's new yeah. information. That's why the yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, no, I believe you. No, I mean I you know yeah. Anyway. <coughs> Come on back, Grandma. Yeah, yeah, it's like the water. We're almost done. Don't you should point out the middle of the air. Really? Yeah, minus 30 degrees or whatever. Don't do it, Presley. It's a trick. Don't do it, Presley. It's a trick. Thickness. Right, right. Tight insulation, but yeah. You can even pop off right there. That's just another trick for me. We've done some 50 below. Oh, Grandma will bring her home. Grandma will bring her home. Don't worry about it. Yeah. You don't have to. Any other, the Zodiac, right? any, yeah. other, any other questions <laughs> on water? Like today, Come on. What are we going to do about yeah. raising yeah. that? We left that go. Yeah. When yeah. do we increase the rate? Well, <laughs> that won't have anything to do with this. I'll right. just be more interested in yeah. So we need to... At, at whatever point... I'd like to do it kind of quick, well, like Dick said. I, I would too. Tiffany's got a point. We probably need to straighten up because what she was getting at. I don't want to go into it. It's almost 10.30, but... We have, because we're too much behind on billing, we've got to get that picked up. So okay. the sooner we get that wrapped up, get that done, then we can get this. Okay. And it's not confusing everybody, and it's anonymous. So will you bring it back to us? Absolutely, as soon as we can. I'd like because to see trust it soon. Me, I've been trying, I've been looking, I trying think for this for years. When we catch, when we catch up, mm -hmm. there's another $80,000. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That, that, there's no increase there, but it's yeah. That's two months worth, right? Right. And I think... You've got a board here that'll move forward because yeah. if we do the water tower, we're going to have to move forward yeah. again. Absolutely. Walter, Walter might move this year, so oh, that'd be a good it. time to do Let's it. Just get it done for a <laughs> just to so I don't have to hear it. No snoring over there. Heard. <coughs> Anything well, else I, on anything else on water? Well, I was just. It's not really to do with the budget. I was going to say I think it would make sense to get everything up brought up and have the new water bills yes. right before increasing the price right people will they won't understand yes. like, i think it's you're too, right it's, it's, it's overload it's like, overload it, they'll go oh it's gonna have to I'll, be educated okay like, i'm getting yeah. the same old thing exactly. but it's gonna cost more money but right. they're like oh this is brand new stuff so and now all of a sudden the village like is go, sticking it to me yeah, yeah like they go hand in hand here we go again I mean, so, deal. well we'll have six of us here that'll have dog shit burn on our porch yeah We'll need I'm to have a plan too. I really don't know how to count. I won't have that. Yeah, we will. We'll, yeah. we'll, 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 we'll have to have my hard one. And I feel like we're all behind it. Maybe they'll trust one of us and right. be okay with it. Okay, great. Thank you. Uh, that in on water? Okay. Sewer. Same thing, guys. Um, I was 9000 under on sewer okay. over last year's budget. Mm -hmm. um, the vehicle uh, you've already explained. Mm -hmm. 
7500 the, the building is the same, same thing. On building okay. um, so and the sewage contract takes up the lion's share oh yeah There's nothing we can do about that nothing we can do about it that's what it is that's walter's big complaint yeah Take it up with the Wish city. Wish he would have come. Take yeah, it up he with could the city. We've got to pay him. It's not like, mm -hmm. you know, we wanted to charge it. Yeah. It would be a lot more if we built our own. $11 million. $11 million just to build it, and then you got to man it. Mm -hmm. I don't and think that's in our budget. Oh, we that's have it in our budget. <laughs> Heck, no, it's not Where did we find that? What could we cut? I'm <laughs> happy that we no, got something. $11, 11 million care. was four years ago. Oh. Six of you. And that's what you would have to cut. Yeah. yeah. There, we'd yeah. have to close down. Yeah. So, um, anything yeah. we need to be aware of? Uh, no, I got 30,000 in there on equipment. That's oh. for a, I put in there for another pump because we've been going oh, yeah. through them lately. I mean, they're getting to that age where we're, I just put a. So this is for one? Yes. Okay. Is that one that you just have the money sitting there for or one that you mm -hmm. keep on hand? That's one money for in case okay. we have to have one rebuild or have to buy a new one. Okay. Nine times out of 10, you can rebuild them. I just got done putting a new one in, uh, what's this, Tuesday, last week down at the main lift station, which was a small pump. Mm -hmm. They couldn't, I mean, it was going to cost within $2,000 to rebuild it as a new one. I said, give me a new one because then it's, you know, yeah. it's not a 30 year old wore out thing, even though it's been rebuilt two or three times. The right. housing, everything else wears. So, um, but yeah. Okay. Yep. Uh, I don't know if you got anything else. I mean, I. Just so you guys know, especially the new one, Jared, um, supplies, uniforms, and clothing, 700. That's in all three departments. But the guys' contract through the union contract, I mean, we they get $500 a year on clothing. So, I mean, that's, we don't have a choice with that. Do you have a clothing allowance? Just curious. When I started here, yes, when I started here, I used to, not just me. When I started here, we had three hundred dollars in each, so we had nine hundred dollars a year, mm -hmm. and the guys could spend, you know, up to three hundred. Usually, it was two hundred or mm -hmm. so. Well, for whatever reason, when we did the first negotiations, um, they rolled five hundred dollars in there. So, what about you as the department head? I, I, well, if you look at it, it's five hundred dollars. That's three of that's fifteen hundred. We have twenty one hundred. That is just a cushion for if we have other problems. I spend maybe, I'd have to go back and look, but maybe $200 a year in clothing. That's just jeans and shirts. So maybe 200 Just curious. Monogram shirts. Are they embroidered? <laughs> yeah. Just curious. Now, I, now, we do have some that are embroidered. This is not a work shirt. This is, is that not, it? This, <laughs> that, yeah, yeah, this isn't a work shirt. Um, <laughs> give, me, give me that message. That, now, <laughs> but yes, I, I don't want to mislead you. We do have shirts that are in order because sometimes I'll get the guys nice shirts and we'll put Village South Jasmine on. Mm -hmm. But I'm talking $12 shirts out here at Central Rental. Yeah. Okay. You know, so. Yeah, I was just curious. I like to know what each department's doing sure. for that. Yeah. But that's not considered a uniform. It's just extra. Because you guys really don't have a uniform. We don't have a uniform. Yeah. Because we just wear jeans. Yeah. And, and um, the guys, it, most of the time, they wear the yellow shirts, the fluorescent green, because if mm -hmm. you're in the street. Yeah. But mm -hmm. then I do put the name on them sometimes. Sometimes it's embroidered. Sometimes it's just... Um, like a screen printing? Screen print. Screen are those plain shirts or do they have Village of South Jacksonville on them, the, the fluorescent ones? Most of them now have Village of South Jacksonville okay. or work, Public Works or something yeah. like that. It's like Ed always gets them from Quig. Right. They have yeah. QEI on them. Yeah. It's yeah. better to have that so, you know, if yeah. they're in people's yards and shit like that. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. 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 I agree with that. <laughs> yeah, I do too. Then they know who they're yelling at, Village of South Jacksonville residents. Oh, <laughs> trust me, they know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um... Other than that, it's pretty well, I mean, the, same. That the same, guys, I mean. You I said you were a little under, though, or you went about 6,000, is that what you said? No, uh, 9,000. Oh, 9, so last year okay. was uh, 661, this year 652. Oh, that's why I was hearing six, okay. Yeah. Yep, um, and there again, just trying to pinch things down to keep it as real as I can, you know, try to. Uh, okay. Street department, we've already done. We've already done yep. the park because they were the only yep. thing here, and really we can't do anything with it is motor fuel tax. I mean that's all state 
it's our money, but they control it. That's why we always have to run it through them. Mm -hmm. um, you guys will be voting Thursday night on the oil and chip uh, mm -hmm. bid, which is the only one we had, which is 44,000 and something. 40, well, I put 45 here, but it's 44 and change. Um, but you have to do that. Here's where it's weird. The state has already approved our motor fuel tax overall budget for the year. Mm -hmm. But once we get the bids back in, we have to send that, and you guys vote on it, mm -hmm. then we have to send that back to the state and say, okay, the board give our blessings, then the state has to give a blessings again on what's already been mm. blessed. It's just the game we have to play. So what's and the then at that point, then I can give them the notice to proceed with oil and chip. Well, it's a lot of checks and balances. Right. What's the criteria for expenditures on motor fuel? Um, you mean as far as... What qualifies? Like anything with the street. Okay. Um, patch material for the street, gravel for the street, okay. oil and chipping, um, We curbs, mostly do the curbs. oil. Okay. Um, digging ditches, That's because okay. that's coming off the road. Okay. Um, culverts. So... Okay. Just so you guys know too, I don't know if I brought this up last time or not, but the mm -hmm. um, we have been declared a disaster area. Hmm. So I've been to a couple of FEMA meetings. There's a good possibility we're gonna get 75% back of what it takes to fix that road, which is about $30,000. So we'll get 75% of that. But I'm not fixing it that way until I have money in hand because we've been this down this road before with FEMA. So we're going to go out. We've already put the road back. We're going to patch it so it's not gravel. That's cheap and easy. Then if they come through and say, yes, we'll do it, then we'll have a contractor come in, tear it out, put the double culverts in, and we'll do it that way. If sidewalks? Not, huh? Sidewalks? Sidewalks. Are they, they're not motor fuel, are they? Um, you, can, you can put some in. You can't replace them. You can put new in if they're, if they're not. But yeah. generally, the village uses it for oil chip. What oil and chip, or um, any kind of maintenance we need on the street? I mean, uh, road salt. We buy our road salt. Okay. You know, for the winter okay. through that. Okay. Um, Is that under the supplies? Yes. Okay. If you look, I tell you what. You should have. I never eat. You should have. Do you have that on the back side for that? No. Okay. I'm sorry. Here's a breakdown. Basically, I mean, okay, signal maintenance. You never worked um, because we have to fix the stoplights on South Main. Oh, okay. I just found out after all these years that the state pays 50% of that. Really? Yeah. So, um, and it is expensive. Sign, oh, signs and posts is another one. Okay. Any street sign can be paid for out of motor fuel tax. Okay. Whether it's speed limit, stop sign, yield sign, children, whatever. Okay. Um, patch, then, you know, $2,000 worth of patch for uh -huh. patching holes. Uh -huh. But all this stuff. Twenty supplies of gotcha. Um, crushed well, and then the rest that's you know, no, that helps. Okay, now, so you see, um, I put we have to have appropriated for, mm -hmm. yep, but that is only if FEMA's gonna help pay for it. Okay, then up here, that 135,000 here, mm -hmm. that would be for Michigan Avenue. But we've got the money banked through motor fuel tax, so our 20, 80, our 20 mm -hmm. is 90,000, about 90, 95,000 dollars. Yeah, I heard you talking about uh, Michigan that. Avenue. What, what about the problem there at Diamond in Michigan? Is that what you're talking about? With no, it? Dick was, no, that's, What's being that done road is soft there. It's got water sits under it that just keep, we, no matter what we do, it keeps breaking up. Two things, there is a, there's a, a long shot chance that Jacksonville is going to redo Diamond from Morton to Michigan, and then we're going to do it from there all the way up on our end, also with some state aid. But that's not a given yet. That's in the works. So if that's the case, then what I want to do is put a field tile under that road. I think that'll keep the water out. That'll quit crumbling that apart. We've asphalted it, we've cored it out, we've concreted it, we've done everything. So and you I'm not direct it over towards prairie land then? Yeah, yeah, just under the ground, over yeah. to the ditch. But I'm not going to throw good money after it because it, at this point it's 
you're just patching on top of patch, and it doesn't matter what you do, it's not holding. It's got to, the next <coughs> thing is timing it. And yeah. if they do come through and we do the road, that's what we will do. So. All Anybody right. got any other questions for me? And we didn't make any changes or anything, right? Did you nope. need to let Tiffany know? Nope. Yeah. No, ma'am. All right. I mean, any I, new business? Any old business? Old business. <laughs> yes, sir. Old business. Oh, oh, yeah, Tom, yes, sir. Something. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, village website. Yep. Now, we've got uh, Matt Mark lined up to do that. He's uh -huh. also our IT guy. I want to get started on that. And uh, that'll be my baby, I guess, so to speak. I want uh, anybody who has any input. Uh, um, Open to that, suggestions. What you'd like to see on there done differently. Uh, Does he have a starting point? Like, did he have a suggestion of like a generic? And then we add. have to have him come in and, and oh, let okay. everybody sign off on it for him. Yeah, and I actually want to talk doing. about that, and I know it's late. We don't want to keep going here, but. And Dick can vouch for this, and I don't know if all the you know about it or not, but we have got, and I don't know why we're not utilizing it, I've said it and said it, we have got a village promotional video that Stearns did, and it needs to be updated, get the old faces off of it, shorten it up, and we need to use that thing. It was on Facebook for a while. It's Who a did good, it? good video. Uh, Alan Stern. Alan Stern. Stern. Who is he? Stern. Yeah. Star? Yes. Star. Stare. Stare. That's it. Um, and we spent good money for it. We need to be utilizing it and put it out there. I mean, it, it, have you seen it? It, it really no, hasn't changed. I don't know anything about it. It How is nice. Access? It go really to, is. Go to Facebook but, and type but in it's got, it's got two administrations passed all over it. It needs to be updated. Take the faces out, put your faces in there, and shorten it up. It was 11 minutes, and I think they say that, that, that it needs to be around five minutes to capture people. But, I mean, it talks how close we are to St. Louis, to Springfield, to Lincoln's home, to all uh, kinds of stuff, yeah. to all our motels, to everything in Jacksonville that we have to offer to bring people here. And so did we, see, that was Gordon. Yeah. So we paid for that out of tourism, I'm guessing, or do you know? I don't remember. I don't know. Know. It's been so I don't long know. now, I don't know. I don't think that makes sense. But my City point, of Jacksonville had one, too. It's, it, we need to utilize it. Yeah. How do you access it again? What do you? Just go to Facebook and type in. I think you can, I, Tom, I think you can YouTube Village of South Jacksonville. I, I, you're right. It's YouTube, YouTube not Facebook. It was YouTube. YouTube. It. YouTube. YouTube. Village of South Jacksonville, YouTube. Village of South Jacksonville promotional video. It's nice. It's a good. It just needs to be revamped. Get the, the old faces out. That was out, the first the time in. these guys had used the, the drones to... Yeah, it's, I mean, it's got a drone all over the village, okay. all down South Maine. Yeah, Maine. yeah, I've it. Seen talks it. about like the colleges it. here. It talks, it yeah. tries to say what the community's got to offer mm -hmm. to get people here. It's not Everybody's nice. okay with that. We'll go forward and then we'll... Yeah, well, we have a committee we'll have meeting come in, in, come in, present it in July. Yeah, well, well, in July yeah. he could come yeah. to the July meeting. And mm -hmm. Any other old business? I'm hungry and tired. tired. What? Who's retired? Oh, Second. Okay. Oh, I guess I can say it.